Hungry? What's next? Oh. Storm is getting worse. I'll get them ready. Need help? I hope Fenrir got some sleep. Maybe he'll be ready to eat when we get home. He is quite sick, Atreus. I know, but he was a little better yesterday. Until he wasn't. If he keeps eating, I'm not giving up on him. Hear that? Yes. Is it her? It is her. The state is not far. Oh! Not again. Get ready. Falcon! that easy what she she never does stay alert there she is uh, 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 let go uh, of him uh, oh, uh, got you uh, we've got to get away from her i'm trying up there what she look out uh, Trees, coming down. That was too close. He's coming around again. I do not fight you. I'm losing my grip here. Hold tight! The protection stave is near! Oh no! Freya, we're not your enemy! Freya, wait! <laughs> Please don't! 
don't make me do this! Yeah. River Stave. We made it. Let us go home. It's Becky. It's Vana. Up. <gasps> I'm sorry I couldn't take the shot. I did not wish you to. I keep hoping she'll let it go. You saved her life. I killed her son. There is no letting that go. Yeah. I guess killing Balder really did bring on Fimble Winter. It never stopped snowing after that day. Think it's ever gonna get better? Someday. But the worst is still ahead of us. We must be strong. I got it. I don't hear him. He always says hello. Atreus. Fenrir. You okay, boy? <laughs> it's okay, boy. You're okay. <laughs> I know. I missed you, too. Where's your food? Still hungry? Come on, boy. You need to eat. Eat. What? Too big? He wants to live. He is dying. You're a good boy. A brave boy. Fast and strong. But you can rest now. Okay? I'll be okay. You can let go now. You have to let go. Sofna. Afra. Desu. 
stuff. It's on. Softener. 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 No. It's the middle of the night. Night does not stop our enemies. Why? What for? Training is all we ever do. Ever. It's not enough. We can't hide forever. Time is running out. The prophecies say Fimblewinter leads to Ragnarok. War is coming. Whatever Loki's supposed to be doing, he's supposed to be doing it now. My story doesn't end hiding in these woods. I should be out there, finding out who I am, who Loki is. I will not allow you to pick a fight with gods. I don't want to fight anyone. I just want answers. And if those answers lead to war with Asgard? Maybe that's what Mother wanted. We do not know what Mother wanted. Looks like we never will. Look. I have a moment alone with Fenrir before I bury him. Well, I don't recognize that dour expression anywhere. Care to tell me what went wrong? The wolf is gone. Oh, no. Not Fenrir. How's the lad taking it? Not well. He goes to bury him. Oh, damn it. All right, brother. Good night, then.
Kratos? Are you joining me? Very. Are you ready? You walk as though Emir himself sits atop your shoulders. This is your hunt. I will follow. Very well, Grimms. Kill. At least it didn't suffer. Hmm. Am I to decipher your grunting? Tell me your thoughts. We hunt a predator. A wolf. Yes. Predators kill. It is the natural order of things. Your words are misguided. Shh. Approach slowly. It's okay, little one. We want to help. Don't we? No, don't! <sighs> Come on. The sick wolf we found beyond our stave. He found his way inside. As I said he would. We should have acted. It was not our concern. Now it is. The problem doesn't have to reach our doorstep for it to be our responsibility. If we have the power to limit the harm it could cause, we should act. Who are we to hide and do nothing? We are not hiding. Gonna make me pick that one up? Mm. Good boy. This way. Atreus. Hence my bellowing. He never came back from burying the wolf. It's been some time. He cannot be far. This has not been opened. No prints this way either. Let's see. Tracks heading down to the frozen river. That's most likely where he did the burying. Fire's dwindling now. Where else could he have gone from here? He crawled through here. <laughs> you seem troubled in your sleep, even for you. Nightmares? I dream of the past. Almost every night. Ah, the bad old days in Greece? No. It feels like Faye is trying to tell me something. You don't mean to say you're talking to ghosts again, brother? No. But it is something more than memory. Hmm. 
Use your words, brother. The tracks stop here. Snap it under! And we're not alone. <laughs> They should not be this close. We should check on the protection, Steve. There's a tree up ahead, yeah? <laughs> well? You were right. The stave is broken. Explains our trespassers. What happened here? Brother, back there. A dead animal. A struggle? We must find Atreus. Aye. Between the savage beasts and marauding raiders, he may have sought shelter. Follow the trail. We'll find him. Aha! Trails on the other side of that gap. If you can clear the way. Any idea what could have made the lad wander off? We argued. He accuses me of... Hiding from Odin. Eh, only sensible to keep a low profile after killing three of his kin. A reckoning will come. That is why Atreus must learn to survive on his own. Oh, this is about that prophecy. Just because the giants had you dead on some wall full of otherwise accurate predictions. I do not believe in prophecies. Well, good. What do you believe about prophecy, Mimir? I'm skeptical by nature. Though we have seen things that defy explanation. So, speaking as the smartest man alive, I've no bloody idea. thinking, brother. But Atreus can handle himself. You've taught him well. So he keeps telling me. <laughs> Torches. And the trail leads into that cave. Well, we know where we are going. I'm sure we can find a quiet way in. Are these the raiders you rescued the wolves from? No. They have not been here long. Perhaps Atreus came here seeking shelter. He kept moving when he saw the raiders, and the bear came barreling after. Impressive rampage, I'll give it that. You think the bear was chasing Atreus? Well, just as likely the bear was hurt and Atreus was chasing it to help. You know the lad. Atreus! Where are you? <laughs> Oh! <laughs> 
Zone done. Prayed Fenrir, and then I'm, I'm not sure. I was so sad, and then I was angry and scared. I remember running. There was a bear. Charging and I charged back. That had to be a dream. Your emotions, they transformed you. Uh, I, I, I didn't know I could do that. taught me discipline. I need more than that. I need answers. Answers you don't have. Answers only your mother had. That's how she withheld. What if there was someone who could help us? Someone that could give us answers about the giants and who Loki's supposed to be? Atreus. Wouldn't it help to understand what I'm becoming? Atreus! Listen to me. have killed you until you learn control we will take no unnecessary risks inaction is also a risk you taught me that stop thinking like a father for a moment and start thinking like a general no Going to discuss the boy becoming a bear? Yeah, are we? Not now. 
We need to repair the protection stave and get home. What happened to the protection stave? You did. So you're blaming me? I am not blaming you, Atreus. Well, tell your voice that. So, lad, besides your gift of language and hearing creatures' thoughts, are there any other new magical abilities to report? Not really. What to Fenrir? What about him? When he died, you cast a spell. No, I didn't. But I saw light. I don't know what you're talking about. Hmm. Trick of Fimble Winter, perhaps. Seen my share. What's with all the blood? Yours, Atreus. Seriously? That, or any prey you might have been dragging, I suppose. Not sure that makes me feel any better. Consequences. What? What can we do? Nothing. Nature will take its course. Sometimes I really wish Tyr's temple still worked so we could get out of Midgard. They say Fimblewinter affects all realms, lad. Okay, but how could things be any worse than here? Hey, Svana. You're not scared. You're a brave girl. Good. Brave girl. That's right. He's good with them. No surprise, really. Specky. You okay? Just a little thunder. That's a good girl. Good girl. Atreus! I'm just checking on... To bed! Yes, sir. As evenings go, that was entirely too eventful. Though I admit it was a bit like old times there, for a moment. The three of us navigating some hitherto unhappened-upon patch of forest. Been a while since you've joined us. If that's what you mean. Ah, well, just tired, I suppose. You've seen one deer hunt, you've seen them all. How can you feel tired when you never sleep? There are other kinds of tired, lad. You'll see when you're older. <sighs> now have a proper rest, my brothers. Things are always brighter in the morning. Yeah. 
the ball. Come in. I have me. You would not find me good company. No. I'm sure we'll find lots to talk about. could have told me before I poured. Why are you here? Uh, just uh, being polite. <coughs> you seem like a calm and reasonable person. Say the moment calls for calm. <laughs> yeah. You know who I am? Back before winter set in, there were some misunderstandings. Regrettable ones. But I think we all have a better idea of who we're dealing with. Now, what you did to his boys. Self-defense. Dying is what we Aesir live for. And let's be honest, they were kind of useless. But Balder, he had value. He was my best tracker, my closer. Yeah, his mind was gone, sure. But he had his uses, and now he's gone because of you. You follow me? You have a debt. And you're no fun anymore. What do you want?
How about peace? How does peace strike the esteemed, retired god of war? How about we just don't kill each other? How about you stay home, kick up your feet, seek no quarrel with me, and I'll have none with you. Of course, it means that that one, that one has to stop his search for tear. Yeah, we know what you've been up to. Stop it. Tears old ways are dead. He is dead. You understand? And then that's it. Then we're square. Shit, I'll even sweeten the deal. I'll let you keep the prisoner that I know you stole. <laughs> that's right. I know you're in here somewhere, you silver-tongued little shit. Why should we believe a word of you? What of your promises ever been worth? There he is, my old partner in crime. He's lost weight. If he tells you snow is white, he's lying. What kind of wisdom is that? Can't the smartest head alive see past himself? See that we all want the same thing? All right. Here's a deal I know you can trust. I'll settle your debt with my ex. Keep Freya off your back. Keep your boy safe. That's really all you want, isn't it? So what do you say? Don't take all day. Fighting dirty, you're not fighting, right? Your son struck first! 
Sons fell to you. Even this lesser version of you. But I am not my sons. And your boy, all father, has plans for him. <laughs> God of war. Consider your blood debt paid. Be seeing you. Told you he'd make it. Kratos, it's Sindri and Brock. That was quite a fight. Can we. Oh, now! Odin is with Atreus. Oh, no. I'll go get a gateway ready. Come on, then. Ain't a long walk. We must check on Atreus. <laughs> well, good to see you making new friends. Ain't that me old near pack a punch? You know we made that hammer, right? You have mentioned it. I know that. Wasn't ever sure you were listening. At least it was good to see the axe hold her own. Kind of the point, after all. All set. This'll get you home. One last thing there, Tiny. If you got Aesir at your door, then I reckon your protection stave's busted. 
Once you chase Odin off, you got another place to lay your head tonight? And I don't mean that talky fella. I will not abandon my home. Oh yeah? And what's to stop the all fucker from spying on you? Or raven pecking your house to splinters while you're asleep in it? Nothing, that's what. You go get your boy, and I'll speak to a certain someone about putting you up at his place in a pinch. I was about to look for you. Are you hurt? Are you? What does he want? To uh, pay for the roof. And he invited me to Asgard. Did he? I couldn't hear once he went outside. I, I told him no. Obviously. Good. Why were you searching for Tia? If I told you I was looking for him, you would have said not to. So you hid the truth from me. I wanted to tell you. I really did, but now that you know, there's something you should see. No. Just trust me, you'll want to. Trust! You have broken my trust. Then let me regain it. Let me show you what I found. Besides, we haven't seen the last of Odin. Or Thor. And clearly they can just walk in and blast holes in our home whenever they want. There's only one way to get them off our backs. And I think I know how. Sir. So we gather your things. Keep the change, you bastard! Where are we going? The old temple in the Wildwoods. Why? It'll be easier to explain once we're there. Did Odin say anything else while you were outside? Yeah. He said he doesn't care about Jotunheim anymore. That the giants can keep their secrets. He's averted Ragnarok his own way. You think he knows all the giants are dead? I'm more concerned that it no longer matters to him. What's he up to? What happened here? So close to home. Are raiders warring with one another now? Those are not their arrows. Something else is out here. Almost to the bridge. <laughs> oh, guess the bridge gave out. Gonna need another path to the temple. Why would you come out this way alone, lad? I had dreams calling me here. <sighs> dreams. <laughs> Whoa. 
That one's still alive. No. Look closer. Ah, Hell Raiders now? Who's doing this? Suppose it's too much to hope that an enemy of theirs would be a friend of ours. Yeah, probably. Hold. Don't do it! Whoa! Bloody hell, brother! What was that? Something strong and dangerous. Be on guard. Oh, yeah. Being all the way on guard. Remember when I said there was someone who might help us get answers about the Giants and Loki? You mean Tyr, the old god of war of these lands, who is dead. Well, for a dead man, Odin seemed pretty keen on seeing he wasn't found, right? He knows Tyr could unite the realms against him. Plus, Tyr was the Giants' greatest ally. So... Enough. Uh, that pillar wasn't in the way last time I came. Like I was saying, Tyr was an ally to the Giants. So he'd be on our side if we find him. And if anyone might know who I'm supposed to be, it's him. If he's out there, we gotta find him. How can we not? Those are many ifs, Atreus. What do you know? You'll see soon. What do you think? Can't imagine what the lads found, but he says he has evidence. We've come this far. Let's see it. Isn't it nice how Fimblewinter wore down all the helpful magic we acquired? Yet somehow new terrors only flourish. <laughs> As if on cue. <laughs> 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 The raiders throw an Odin barging in, and now stalkers spring in our woods. This is no safe haven anymore. Father, the shield Mom gave you. Thor damaged it, but now... Perhaps the dwarves could take a look at it. Perhaps. Later. Hmm. Come on, we can get in this way. Why are we here, Atreus? Okay. You remember all those shrines we found, telling the stories of giants? How the panel on the left would be their origin, and the panel on the right would be their fate? Yes. We found many. I have seen them. Well... There's more to them than we realized. Well, the collapsed pillar is new. But the shrine is just on the other side. <laughs> Hmm. 
Watching? Well, that's new. Come on. Atreus, wait. Yeah, I don't think he's waiting. What is this, lad? Where are we? Somewhere only giants were meant to see. These shrines tell their stories to the world. But it turns out the real stories, the secret stories, those they kept here, inside. You remember the story of Skull and Hati? The wolf giants? Odin captured them because he thinks it'll help him control when Ragnarok starts. I remember. But that's not the whole story. See, this shows the giants setting Skull and Hati free. They're free? Is this the past or the future? Depends when you're looking at it. Spoken like a giant. See? The wolves are safe. Somewhere in Vanaheim. Not the first place Odin would look, I suppose. There they are, chasing the sun and moon. Old habits. Until, look, the moon gets stolen. Somehow. Atreus. See? Hati's got nothing to chase. And they say celestial theft is a victimless crime. Not totally sure who this is, but someone comes along and rescues the moon. And then, the moon blocks out the sun. A total eclipse? I haven't seen one of those in a hundred winters. But then they chase an arrow, and things go back to normal. What does any of this have to do with... We're coming to that. Look, here's Ragnarok. Do you see who's leading the armies against Odin? That's Tyr. If he's gonna be around at Ragnarok, that means he's gotta be alive. Right? We're here. Can this be? Odin told me he killed Tyr, and he trusted me at the time, or so I thought. What if he didn't kill him? What if he's just had him locked up somewhere all this time? We are back to ifs. Enough. Wait. We are going home. Wait. I have one more thing to show you. It's just out here. What is this? Everything I found. Well, almost everything. That's giant craftsmanship. You've been to Jotunheim again? No. I found it in one of the other shrines. Other shrines? How many have you visited? I... well... all of them? All the ones I could still get to in Midgard, anyway. I don't know what it is. But it's important. Just like all this. When I was inside one of the shrines, I saw an image of Tyr imprisoned. But I couldn't tell where. There are hints inside the other shrines. They mention... black smoke and the bleeding earth. But... We can never figure out exactly. We. Yeah, 
Sindri's been helping me. Look, I talked him into it. It, it wasn't his idea. I just needed someone to watch my back. Black smoke. Bleeding earth. Could the prison be in Muspelheim? Unlikely. Odin's got no presence to speak of in the primordial realms. But the bleeding earth? Sounds like a mine, aye. Uh, the realm of the dwarves, perhaps. Svartalfheim, that's a good bet. Their minds did belch black smoke, and Odin's had his thumb on the dwarves for a very long time. That's it then. Tears in Svartalfheim somewhere, imprisoned in a mine. So, what now? Lad, even if we consider looking for Tyr, how do you have us getting to Svartalfheim? You know Odin's had all travel between realms locked up tight. Sindri said he had an idea or two about that. Sindri is full of ideas. Ah, things collapsing on a regular basis in these parts. Thimble Winter wears down all things, even stone. What's under there, you think? Ah, back to smashing through things for fun and profit. <laughs> Lovely! Mumia, did you hear of Odin's offer? To the lad? Not much. They stepped outside. But he told us about it. I wouldn't worry. What about the things he did not tell us? <laughs> Remember when we fought our first troll out this way? I remember you lost control. <sighs> we must tread carefully, brother. Danger is close. You okay fighting without a shield? It is not my first time. <sighs> Phew! Almost home. Brother, a word. Don't hold the lad's curiosity against him. It goes with being young. In my youth, we learned obedience. And is that what you wish for him? Brother, he's going to walk his own path. If you don't want him walking away from you, then smarten up and walk with him a while. Hmm. If we could find a way to open Rome travel to Spartalfarm, I bet there'd be all sorts of useful equipment for us. Enough. We'll go. Really? But if we do not find Tyr, you will abandon your search. For good. All right. You won't be sorry. Kratos! Over here! Sindri! As I live and breathe, is that Atreus? It's been so long. How you've grown! <laughs> uh, oh, uh, yeah. Hmm. Well, if you'll follow me... Brock mentioned he needed somewhere safe to spend the night, and I believe your favorite dwarves can help you out with that. We're still your favorite dwarves, right? You're still the only dwarves we know. I'll take it. After you, my friends. Where are we going? The cleanest cabin in all the Nine Realms. And I'd prefer it to stay that way. Not looking at anyone in particular. Kratos. <clears throat> After that Thor incident, we thought we should make up some rooms. Till you can figure out your next moves. Nearly there. As you can see, we've settled here in the realm between realms. It's nothing much, but it's safe from Fimblewinter. Safe from Odin's eyes. And you really can't beat the view if you're into shimmering gray voids. That's amazing, Sin. We have a plan to talk to you about, actually. Intriguing. Come in. Come in! Now, if you would just wipe your feet, 
very thoroughly, I'll wait. You're not gonna wipe your feet, are you? Okay then, your bedrooms are there, the kitchen is just over there. Any, anybody need a snack? Kratos, snack? I do not need a snack. What we need is your help getting to Sparto Farm so we can try and rescue Tyr. To Tyr? Al alive? I mean, that's, what? It it's okay, I told him everything. Everything? You waited my son and disobeyed me. No, I, I kept an eye on him. On your behalf, nothing risky, everything very safe. Somebody else speak. What's important right now is that we try and open up travel between realms again. You said you know a way? Yes, I do. I just, it's just, there's, it's just a lot of mud. Then why haven't you opened the way already, man? Well, to be frank, there was something we needed your help with. Oh! The Holder brothers finally require the services of the smartest man alive. That's it precisely. Hey! Not so fast. How'd that get in here? What the hell is it anyway? That is my son. Well, what in all yarns me the happen to him? He's too damn tall now. And he looks like that I blame you now well, come on then let's get him something that fits at least he's just getting older you dark prat didn't you ever have an awkward phase in your youth hey I suppose what's done is done but you'll be putting your foot down from now on if you know what's good oh he's trying believe me all right let's gear you fuckers up before you go off gallivant you know this. Mmm. Busted up good. Hm. Wouldn't you rather I just whip you up a new one? It is important to me. Well, I'll see what I can do. In the meanwhile, how about I fix you up with something to get you by? Found some items you left behind, tossed them in the chest. What would you do without me? I'm gonna go look around, check out my room. Tell Sindri when you're ready. Thank you. This place is great, Sindri. You built it all yourself? You know it. And how's life been treating everyone's favorite as your Vulgarian? The fuck you call me? <laughs> Exquisite. See? I knew you wanted a snack. <sighs> hey, come see. I guess this is where they store the food. Nice to have options if I wake up hungry. Finding everything all right, I hope? How do we unlock the realms? We'll just need something from back at the workshop. Follow me, and be sure to bring the head. Uh, yeah. So, where exactly is Tyr being held? He is imprisoned in a mine somewhere. That's all we know so far. Hmm. The realm is full of mines, you realize. You'll need help narrowing it down. Ooh, you should talk to Durlin. Who's Durlin? He's a cousin of ours, sort of. Works for the city on safety issues. Should have access to all kinds of information on mines. And I know he's no friend of Odin. That's why your mother sought his help when she was trying to whip up a rebellion. Ready? A rebellion? Did you know about that? I did not. A rebel leader who knew mom. Sounds like exactly what we need. I think you missed the ta-da. Well, never mind. I'll have this oiled up in no time. Meet you at the gateway outside. Rebel leader? Derlin? <laughs> if that ain't giving a hound a haircut. Huh? And you, you just remember things however they pop into your bean, don't you? I suppose you think Derlin's just counting the days until a couple of strays show up looking for trouble. What do you mean, Brock? Will he help us or not? No, never mind. 
It ain't old Brock's place to cast asparagations on my relations. This smudge sponger notwithstanding. Ignoring you. Fine! Go darken Derlin's door. See for yourself how it goes. Just be warned, he's not the friendly sort of dwarf folk you're used to. He's cranky as all get out. And he talk funny, too. Sounds like a true study in contrast. I've always wanted to see your home realm. Svartalfheim sounds unique. Svartalfheim? <laughs> Stupid Aesir name. We look like dark elves to you. Oh, right. You call the realm something else. Neither Valir, which is also the name of the capital city and where you should look for Durlin. Damn city so full of Odin fuckers nowadays. It ain't hardly somewhere a self-respecting dwarf would show his face. Harsh, but accurate. You hear that? Are those some kind of dragons? They're so far, I can't tell how big they are. We'll just need the Bifrost and the head. Brock, do the touching. Oh, this would be the part requiring my assistance, then. You said it. This device here has been crafted to your measurements. It'll help you get a better look at the problem with those Bifrost eyes of yours. So, I uh, do I control this thing somehow, then? Oh, no, 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 no. This is just to hold you in place while we shine this light in your eyes. Oh, oh, Cindy, a stodding bastard! <laughs> Open! Open now! I was really hoping not to use the eyelid clamps. Do it! <laughs> oh! That's it! That's it! Good! Now... Release! Still unpleasant! Oh, that's our cue! Come on, hurry! I'm coming, I'm coming! Russell of eggs, man! What was that for? You'll see soon enough. Just... <gasps> there! That should do it! See? No permanent damage. I'll show you permanent damage, you wee fuck! Kratos! Throw me at him! Horns first! <laughs> Can't you take a joke, you old goat? <laughs> the Bifrost is broken. Now that we've reconfigured these gateways to use Yggdrasil seeds, you won't need a travel table or a Bifrost lamp anymore. I also used it for light. Okay, good note. I'll figure something out, but first... Come on, let me show you how it works. Aim your key at the rune for Svartalfheim on the right, then concentrate. This should take you to the wetlands outside Nita Valir City. Just make your way to the town square and ask for Durlin at the tavern. You sure they'll know him at the tavern? Durlin's always been an inveterate inebriate. I suppose he might have completely changed, but in my experience, eh. Did you want to come with us? Oh, I might drop in, but the wetlands are moist. And the Grim are everywhere. Hostile, slimy, foul-smelling creatures. But good luck! Thanks. Wait, what? I said good luck! Whoa! Do you feel that? What's that, lad? Anything. E everything. It's warm. Probably use his boat. Whoa. I can just get it free. I see we're already off to a lively start. Petraeus, you dropped your guard. I got the boat free, though. We can head through these channels when you're ready. I 
I still can't believe Mom led a whole rebellion here against Odin and never talked about it. The fact that it didn't go well might have come that notion. What your mother did before we met was her business. Did you ever ask? Eyes on the water. They are resources. If you never asked Mom about what she used to do, what did you talk about when you met? Like, did you just say, Woman, guard the house. I will go to catch fish in the river. And then leave for five days? No. My mother was far better at fishing than I. That wheel is blocking the channel. I imagine if you can turn it, we should be able to get through. So these are wetlands, huh? Pretty accurate. It is a bog. The smell is making my eyes burn. You know what is a fair bit more potent than when I last visited, now that you mention it. <clears throat> Think that's dirty enough to climb? Aye. Good old dwarven craftsmanship. Tyr was a friend to the Giants. I wonder if he and Mom ever met. If he was a part of the rebellion here. It's certainly possible. The God of War often advocated for the Giants. Although I don't recall if he ever declared allegiance outright. Come on. There's gotta be a faster way to get down there. <laughs> Watch your left! <laughs> <laughs> One more to go. Nita. Okay, there's got to be some way to turn the wheel up here. Well, there! Give a man some warning if he's about to suddenly end up snout deep in cheek. The ground. Was that an earthquake? Hmm. An occasional but not unheard of happenstance in Spartalfine. With all the mining here, the land's bound to be a wee bit bothered. Oh, wow. Nice job getting it to lower exactly where we need it. I was thinking, because it's so warm, maybe it's not that the cold hasn't made it here yet, but maybe it's just different in Spartalfine? Aye, lad. Fimble Winter doesn't strike all realms quite the same way. Weird that Fimble Winter doesn't always make it winter. In Midgard it does, but as you can see, the effects here appear far more gaseous in nature. Observe the geysers. Observe the aforementioned aroma. These effects were present before in some form, but now there's new extremity to them. If the dwarves of this realm are anything like Rock and Sindri, it's hard to imagine them siding with Odin. Well, all too often people are blinded to all but their immediate self-interest. Odin offered them safety, and defying him can be quite dangerous. Maybe they just need a couple of gods to come along and take the fight to him. Atreus, that is not why we are here. I was only joking. War is not a joke, especially where gods are concerned. It seems, Atreus, you intend to recruit Tyr as an ally for war. I just... I'm trying to keep our options open. Let's just keep moving. I'm glad we're out here, exploring a new realm. Maybe we could just try to enjoy the warmth? Looks like we gotta find a way to open that gate if we want to get to neither Valir. It's too fast. Then how shall we catch it? Flank it. Attack from behind. Good.
You did it. Let's see what it drops. there. There's got to be another chain to lower the rest of the gate. Oh, I think I get it. If you freeze the geyser, the pressure will turn the wheel. coming down. What about freezing the guys around the wheel? That's one of Cavassia's poems. Very highbrow. You should collect any others you find. Exactly, are you hoping to learn from Tia? Well, like I said, I was hoping he could tell me something about Loki. I'd also like to hear some of his stories. Traveling to other lands, giant stuff, and maybe about what it was like to fight back in the day. Just for the history, obviously. History? <laughs> Let's hope Tia's in a talkative mood after being in prison for so long. Not all of Odin's captives can be as charmingly voluble as myself. We have no proof Tyr is truly here. Right. That earthquake earlier. Do you think there will be another one? It's unlikely, but geological disturbances tend to be unpredictable. If the geysers and smell here are worse because of Fimble Winter, maybe the earthquakes are too? Aye. Might be onto something, lad. Atreus, look ahead. Wow, now this looks like a city. Welcome to Nidavellir, brothers. Hey, dwarves! Oh, they're uh, running away. only sound an alarm like that if I still had my body and was fearing the notion of being detached from it. Why all that for us, though? They are scared. Most definitely an alarm, I'm afraid. Why is everybody hiding? Stay alert. Talk we to you don't for want any trouble, please. There'll be no help, to be sure. Best we find the tavern Sindri mentioned on our own and hope they let us in. The buildings here really are incredible. The detail in the woodwork is quite extraordinary. Is that a statue of Odin? They must really love him here. Poor feel. Sindri! Hello. I'd return your surprise, but I did know you'd be here. I've got something for you. <laughs> One less feathery spy. What is it, dwarf? You know, I'm glad I came back here at least once before Ragnarok. If these cobblestones could talk, then they'd have mouths. Filthy, disgusting mouths. 
Do you mind if I fiddle with your bow? Oof, you are long overdue for a replacement. <sighs> Taking advantage of certain material... Ow! Structural sensitivity to sonic vibrations has been something... Ah! I've been meaning to try for quite some time now. Thanks for, uh, finally trying it? What's it gonna be this time? <sighs> Patience! I find it's best to see these things... In action! Ah! Whoo! <sighs> there. Oh, take aim at that gate there. But before you loose, say, Ski Alpha. I certainly didn't expect you to disturb half the creepy crawlies in need of them here. How was I supposed to know they were there? Yuffa! Left side! Okay, so... Derlin. Sindri, any idea where the tavern is? Do I look like I've ever been to a filthy tavern? The sewer you just punched a hole through seems promising, though. For you. It should lead to the other side of the city. It's not like you're able to open other doors around here. But this lockdown really is because of us? Oh, my, yes. Odin's grip on this realm is so firm, any outsider is considered a threat. Sounds like an Odinism if I ever had one. Best of luck. Any outsider is considered a threat. Is that to protect the dwarves? It sounds like it. But knowing Odin, there's sure to be an ulterior motive. Well, everyone's hiding on this side too. Odin's occupation of this realm has its hooks in deep. But there aren't any guards patrolling. We're clearly not a threat. Why hide? Resist and you're made an example of, to keep the rest in line. Self-preservation can outweigh bravery for even the strongest of folk. Fear keeps them safe and alive. Tavern's gotta be around here somewhere. Maybe we can try knocking on some doors for directions. Excuse me, but we're looking Nothing for... Nothing for you here. I don't care what you want. No food, no encouraging words, no nothing. Please! Sorry to bother if you. If you're selling something, please bugger off. Oh. If you're not selling something, please kindly bugger off. A firebomb from the chief anti-Odin propagandist in Durland's Rebellion. Quite a sharp witch she had until she turned to... subtle means of resistance. Find you! Look out! Stop her! This looks promising, right? Well, it's like a house. If he's here, maybe you should let me do the talking. You? Well, we don't want to intimidate him. You're tall as a tree and you have a severed head on your head. <clears throat> None taken. Fair point, though. Very well. I think that's him. Hello? Watch yourselves. Apparently, there are intruders about. Oh, that's us, I think. Eh, well, if you're planning on killing me, at least let me finish this song. That alarm was in just the perfect key. <laughs> 
We're just looking for a friend of ours named Derlin. <laughs> well, we both know that's not true. Derlin's got no friends left. But if that's all you need, head out the back way there, and you'll see the safety office just across the river. Just don't go making trouble for the rest of us. And while you travel through this realm, maybe you could clean up the head's mess? What mess? Later, brother. I wish to hear of this mess. The rig's in the bay. Why don't you ask the condescending skull? Head, I've got skin. But he's right. I made a mistake. I'd have us shut them down. Sorry, one more thing. Although, these are gifts I'm giving to you, so I shouldn't be sorry and you should be thankful. Anyways, here, please be careful. It's beautiful. Thanks, Sindri. It is beautiful, isn't it? It's also very useful. You'll be able to find anything your heart desires with it. Really? As long as your heart desires the locations your father and you decide and plot to travel together, then yes. It is a compass. Ah, but a beautiful compass. Now scamper off. There's a building just past these rocks behind me. Maybe we should head that way. Ugh, those bloody mining rigs. What about them? The Skald is right to blame me for them. They were my idea. If you've got the time, they're in the bay just beyond this tunnel. I'd particularly appreciate us checking out the mining rigs in the lake to the right. You can see the smokestacks from here. But if you don't want to explore now, it looks like Derlin's place is through that open gate to the left. So, which way do we go? We could prepare more before rescuing Tyr. Up to you. Mimir, were you really the one who had those rigs built? Odin wanted the dwarves under his control, and, well, I convinced him he could buy their allegiance instead of demanding it outright. A trade agreement of sorts. Chalk a block with materials that could help us. I'd grab whatever it spits up in the process. agree to the deal with Asgard, why do they blame you? I talked them into their own exploitation. They made their choice. Work or die is not a choice. I only made it seem so. <laughs> what you just picked up there is pure Spartalfine <laughs> ore. It won't be of use in the rig anymore, but perhaps our Huldra brothers could craft something from it. Father, what's the biggest thing you've ever fought? 
I do not know. You can't remember? Why do you ask? I don't know. So we can compare? It is not a competition. I mean, not yet. <clears throat> no. It's still here. What? The island near the geyser. We need to get the key from it and unlock this door. We need... I need... to set right a very old wrong. How did these rigs come to be? I had them built to harvest ore for armaments. Essentially harnessing resources that would otherwise go to the dwarves. Do you think shutting these things down will help the dwarves become independent? I don't know, but I have to try something. There's another mining rig on this island, brother. Smell that smoke. Why would the dwarves agree to work for the Aesir in the first place? That's the heart of it, eh? You lied to them. I lied to them. Surprised the dwarves didn't shut these rigs off themselves. One or two tried. The Einher Yar made examples of them. They killed the dwarves? Can you have convinced them not to? Aye. Okay, Mimir. To the blacksmiths of Svartalfheim, the creation of a weapon was a sacred thing. But Odin just wanted as many blades as he could get as fast as he could get them. With every stolen resource and mediocre blade, the dwarves lost a bit of themselves. Mimir, how many stories have you told about Odin and Thor, and all the bad things they've done? Let's see how many we can remember. Seems like Father could use his memory refreshed. My memory of them Better requires... pause there. The key to that watchtower door should be on this island somewhere. You think you could break through the ground from up there? Key we're looking for. Now we must head to that watchtower on the shore. What are you not saying? The mining rigs are not the only sin I committed in Svartalfheim. So not all dwarves can do that thing Brock and Sindri do, right? Or they just walk between realms and turn up somewhere else? Indeed, that's a rare skill. I gather one carefully cultivated by some secretive dwarven guild or other. Probably for the best. Them alone doing it is disconcerting enough. Is that pure Spartal fine slag? Give it here. <laughs> Thanks for grabbing that for us. Can you hear that? No. Thought I heard a voice. Let's keep going, lad. Just put the key into that lock, brother. There. 
If you could give that drum a good loud strike. Hmm. That's the voice I heard. I hoped it would have escaped by now, but we'll need to free it from its restraints. What is this? A Loonbocker. I captured it many years ago. For Odin. Yes. I thought it an imaginative and eye-catching way to earn his favor. It worked? That it did. This creature, you enslaved it. Aye. But why? Because I was young and stupid. And I didn't know what it was like to be chained in one place for years at a time. With nothing to occupy your mind but pain. Too. If you could. Uh. Easy, easy. That creature's hurting. But we're going to free it. But it will always be chained. You know that as well as I. You're angry with me, aren't you, brother? I remember the feeling of a yoke around my neck. I would not wish it upon another. Fat was a good source of oil for Odin's lanterns. Oil for lanterns? Whatever anger you're feeling, whatever loathing toward me, it's nothing to what I've said to myself. Give me that 
dock can lead us to the tail. Let's get back to the boat. You never spoke of this creature. Does that surprise you? That an old man would be ashamed of the mistakes he's made? No. I thought, I'd hoped the creature would be long expired by now. But apparently the Aesir couldn't even be bothered to mercy kill it once it was no longer useful. We could kill it. No. Not when we can save it. Good. We can reach the tail from this dock. still save this broken creature. I know what it is to be imprisoned like this. I can't just leave it. And if it is beyond saving? I don't understand. Let us continue. The tail must be chained as well. Sliding down that rope should take us where we need to go. Can you get me closer to its eye for a face-to-face, -face, brother? This creature, the mining rigs, their mistakes, Mimir. But it's Odin's fault. That's not an excuse, little one. But thank you for saying it. Enough. Deal with Odin's we will continue later. Go on, you great blubbering beast. Shoo! It's not moving. Why is it not moving? It has grown accustomed to its chains. But no. No, we can fix this. We just need to chase it off and scare it. Something. There is no making things right. Only better than they were. It likes the wind blowing on its face. I can feel it. May you provide some comfort. That's not enough. It seldom is. This seems like a good time to try and remember all the terrible stories about Thor and Odin. Okay, there was Thamor, the stonemason. Aye, he quarreled with his son, went into the night to find him, found Thor instead. And there was Thamor's son, Grimthor, who built the walls of Asgard and whispered something of importance to Freya before his betrayal and assassination. There was Groa, of course. The knowledge keeper and prophet of Ragnarok. Thor murdered her husband 
and Odin covered it up before doing her in himself. You can't forget Amir, the first giant. Odin carved him up to form the realms from his body, and let the torrent of his blood nearly drown every giant alive. What about the giants of Jotunheim? They all seemed dead when we finally made it there. That remains a mystery. Though admittedly, it sounds like the Aesir god's dream. What about Fjorgen? Thor's mother was a giant, wasn't she? Indeed she was. The circumstances of her demise were murky at best. But not sure I can blame Odin for that one. He wasn't the same after. There was Skavi, the queen of the hunt. Aye, she spurned Odin's affections. So he tricked her into killing her father. There was Starkather the Mighty, the Jotnar military leader. Slandered by Odin, tricked and murdered by Thor. And there was Thrym the Cunning, the giant king who stole Thor's hammer. Odin traded him Freya to get it back, then sent Thor in disguise to murder his entire court. Who else? Ah, Brung near the Brawler, the stone giant. Aye, mocked by Odin, murdered by Thor. Enough of this. But there's more. I do not care. War with Odin is not the answer. Smell the smoke? There's another mining rig here. You speak of your deeds with shame. Do you regret not allowing Odin to kill them? I don't. I don't get it. The dwarves weren't chained up like the Loombacher. Couldn't they quit? And do what? Their newly built forges poisoned the soil of Svartalfine. Unable to grow their own food, they had to buy it from Asgard. If they stopped working, they'd be taking food out of their own mouths. Oh, that's clever. And awful. could call so meager a task done. A wee drop out of the Asgardian occupational bucket. You must live with your deeds, but do not be troubled by them, brother. Oh? And why not? You were given an impossible problem. Do not blame yourself for failing to solve it. I'm sure the dwarves would feel differently. This doesn't fix things. No, but it is a start. A reminder, brother. That Svartalfheim slag we collected could be of considerable use in the hands of Brock or Sindri. Mimir, a little while ago you mentioned Odin's raven. What's to stop him from using them to pop into existence and kidnap anybody he wants? Consent. The only way to travel by Odin's ravens is by your own choice. Oh, it's not so bad then. The air smells a lot cleaner. Must be because we shut down the rigs. We going to Durland's? Hope he'll be happy we fixed those rigs. This is the safety office? Well, the sign of hair's breadth away from a head injury up there certainly gives that impression. For Derlin? Do you have an appointment? Uh, no. Has anyone ever had an appointment here? <laughs> Here's the collect on something, pal. 
think uh, parading a severed head around on your hip is gonna scare me into somehow approving Estrid's accretion proposal, eh? We are looking for a prisoner of Odin's. <laughs> He's being kept in a mine somewhere. Some friends of ours said that you could help. Where did you get... You chop her head off with that too, eh? She was my wife. Dina and I wondered where she went after our little coup here failed. Failed? Yeah, come, come. Failed. Faye is dead. Best of them are. One's left alive have to pay the price. I'm afraid <clears throat> I can't help you with your little prisoner situation. But he could have answers on how to stop Odin and free Svartalfheim from the Aesir. Now, I'm not in the business of crossing the old father anymore. Wait, before you go. Take this. What is it? A fine. Hygiene code violation for improper transport of a rotting head. Uh, two demerits for speaking the All Father's given name, and, uh, uh, yeah. For fucking up my desk! A fine? Pay it at your leisure, okay? Get out of my office. Hey there. So what about get out of my office? Don't you understand? You said her name was Diener? Oh, uh, sure. Thank you. I think. That head better not be leaking his decay all over my floor. I beg your pardon? Oh, and it talks too. Dino, would you get a load of this? It looks a little familiar too. I've, uh, just got one of those faces. Seems to me that's the only thing you've got. We should go. Okay, as I was saying, I think Derlin wrote down directions. The dwarf has given us a map. Sort of. Uh, you smell him? But it seems to lead to a mine beyond that mountain. Ah, dear! Derlin helped us anyway. Not everyone uses axes and arrows to fight. Yeah. Thing looks like it can take us up the mountain. Maybe we'll be able to see a mine up there. Ah, nothing quite like a dwarven train ride. We can take that train up the mountain when you're ready, brother. Don't let him. He didn't need to say it, but it was written all over his face. 
Uh, well, burned, I should say. Into his head. Burned that into Derlin's head? Real rebellions tend to warrant swift and enduring retribution. He is a captain of Odin. Aye. The bearer of Galahorn. Would you believe a lot like There are few things so dangerous in a man as lack of doubt. Looks like we're here. Come on. This way. I can see another train. Let's look for a way to get over there. You know, maybe finding Tyr is our best protection. Seemed like Odin really didn't want us to find it. Once Tyr's free and can be God of War again, Odin won't have time to worry about us. If that is his war to fight. He may have it. Whoa! Is that a Trekkie? What happened here? Use caution. I think it's dead. Yep. Definitely dead. Hey, I wonder if... Atreus! Oh, the first one we found? If so, it was their aggression that got them both killed. Down there! I can see a mine. That has to be what Derlin was talking about. Tracks up on the left there. Might be another train we can take. Father, what if a war with Odin isn't just tears to fight? What if it's ours too? War is not the only way. Looks like we have to get this one back on the track. This thing is small. Okay, we need to go left. Wait, I meant my left. Keep going. Hmm, hopefully that's it. We're so close, just a little to the left. Yeah, that's it. Round two. Here we go. Hmm. Kraken Hatchling gave you a stone. Kraken? Oh, uh, Diener. Yeah, it covered an algae. I was thinking we could show it to Brock and Sindri when we got back. Here. Okay, so. We came here looking for Tyr because we don't trust Odin, right? If you think about it, war could... Uh-oh. Get up! Father! 
<laughs> I can't believe we saw. Are you serious? That was crazy. All of it. You said it, little brother. I think I see a passage, if we can get through this ore. So, quite the mouth you had on the train, lad. It's just a word. I've heard way worse from... The word does not matter. You lost control. We were falling through the air. I thought we were gonna die. Is that what you truly wish your last word to be? No. In moments of crisis, Panic does nothing. Harness it. Let it serve you. Look on the ground. Track. He's must lead into the mine. We'll need to get past this cargo. Head across. Oh. Great. I'll head across for a better look. Father. There's a gate up here heading towards the entrance to the mine. If you can get up here, I'll need your help lifting it. If. Oh, come on. You can jump that. Your knees aren't that bad. Atreus. That was close. Try again. I hope you can make that jump. It's another one of those wooden troughs. I wonder how the dwarves thought of stuff like this. Aye. Might be the great motivator of convenience. Why do the work when you can get the wet stuff to do it for you? Sure hope Tears here. Atreus, we seek information. I know. Stop acting like I'm trying to start a war. Yet you do not say otherwise. Others? Maybe we can lay this to rest a bit, eh? <laughs> Heavier than I thought. <clears throat> Thanks. Let's keep moving. Looks like we found Darlin's mine entrance. Got something else for you. Sindri! What is it? Since you're currently lacking a light source, sorry, and have no way of seeing exactly what untold horrors lurk in the dark, these will help. Okay, back to your exploring now. Off with you. Thanks, Sindri. Hey, wait, what do you mean by untold horrors? I think this is it. This is the mine. Intriguing. However, we're ill-equipped to do anything with it right now. Look out! 
Well, looks like the official entrance to the mine is blocked. But there's gotta be another way. Maybe this cave will get us in. This way. Nice. Not a dead end. Come on, let's see where this goes. Where are they all coming from? I think I can hear the water too. Slow down, Atreus. Take care. Be ready. So, I think I found where those righteous were coming from. They will overwhelm you quickly. Stay close. <laughs> Maybe we can ride this boat thing further into the mine. Worth a shot. I'm sorry. I know you said not to, but I can't stop thinking about this. We spend all of our time fighting bad stuff, and I don't get why we can't do that alongside Tyr. We do not know him. We saw his shrines. He's a leader. He stood up to Odin when no one else would. If he's done it before, why wouldn't he do it again? Images from long ago do not tell the whole story. There's a door. Once we get off this, let's check there for Tyr. He's gotta be close. I can't help but feel like you're angry with me or something. Ever since we got to Sparto Farm, you've been critical of my every move. If you don't think I can lead us, just say so. It is not your competence that is in question. Okay, but what does that mean? Consider your intent. This place is huge. Must have taken ages to build. Another door. We'll have to check that one too. Bird's instructions do not say which one. Nope. We're on our own here. Your question from before about my intent. I intend to help the God of War stop Odin. And that means freeing him from whatever prison he's in right now. Brace yourselves, friends. Sindri? Oh. And be careful exiting that thing. One foot at a time. There are loose, rusty nails everywhere. Have you seen any signs of tear? As if I would navigate this maze of running sewage. No. I'm sure you'll manage that on your own. I don't know. The water looks pretty clear here. Keyword. Luck. <laughs> would have been a shame to have left. That worked. Let's get to the door. Come on. Well, I certainly don't think this is where Tia currently is. He, he's got to be here somewhere. This mine is huge. Atreus, what do you intend to stop Odin from doing? You speak as if you know his plan. I don't know his plan. That's why we're... Uh, brother, with Fimblewinter underway and Ragnarok around the corner, Odin will be desperate. Whatever he's planning to do surely won't be to the benefit of anyone but himself. Exactly. Come on, let's take that lift up. 
Tear can't be far. <laughs> Okay, new exercise. Let's think about how Tyr's probably feeling locked up in his mind. If I were imprisoned by Odin and finally freed, Odin would obviously be at the top of my list. But I would just want to fight something. Anything. Even if it was just to know I still could. Tyr? Whoa, what happened here? Another empty vault. Ahem. Little brother. Perhaps it's time no, we... don't even say it. We're gonna find him. Look, another door on the other side of the cavern. Let's go. Should be clear now. Ready when you are. One more door. That one has to be it. We will see. Atreus, another mental exercise. Would one who spends their life fighting, such as Tyr, have any desire to prove themselves? The proof leaves a wake of destruction. But if the wake of destruction is a bunch of bad guys, why does that matter? You're strong, and you did the right thing. War does Yo. not measure the strength of a man. I hope one day you understand. Wrong. Maybe there's a way to get the platform moving again. Hey, we did it! I'll meet you at the door. We still have to go back and check out that last door, right? Another drug of old brother. Get off fire, Vitor. It will pass. The other brother hole, didn't we? Odd. <sighs> That's not what I was ready for. Another dead end. Where could he be? Atreus, this mine is largely abandoned. It is unlikely. Tears here. I know it. Derlin's directly stopped at the entrance to the mine. We just have to keep searching until we find him. You said you'd follow my lead, and I say we keep looking. So knock it off. Watch yourself. I will follow, but I state what I see. You need not agree with me, but you will not speak to me this way. Are we clear? Sir. Damn it! Did you hear that, brothers? I don't think we're alone. Ears open. Eyes up. It came from over here. There's a passage leading out. Atreus, do my words irritate you? It's fine. I get it. Brothers! Wait, is that light up ahead there? Hey, this might be it. That door's barred. They must be trying to keep something in. You don't lock a door like that to secure the spare bedclothes. 
I see what we must do. Trickery is this Odin. What game do you play with me now? We're not with Odin. We're the good guys. Those plates. I know you. God killer. Have you come for me now? Only to free you. Stay away. Brother, let me try. Tear. Tear. Look, you know me, don't you? You... You killed Mimir! No! No, 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 no! Yeah, we, we brought him right back! Yeah, stay away from me, you monsters! Stop! We need him! Wait! Find your son. Here. 
it's okay. It's gonna be okay. Just leave me alone. Tear, listen, I swear we're not here to hurt you. We're just trying to get, get you away out. away from me, please. Take you somewhere safe, I away from you. Odin. Show mercy. This is my father. We... Help people. I don't belong out here, please. It's worse when he's angry. Father! Are you not a soldier? Are you not a leader of men? Master yourself! My son brought us to this place. For you! Look at him! You. Why? You don't know me. I know what you stood for. You helped the giants. We're returning the favor. We? We are leaving. Are you coming with us? Here. Your statue in the lake. You had a spear. I thought you needed a weapon. Walking stick? No. A kind thought, but no. Thank you, no. But... Okay. I, uh... I, I ran because I don't... Always know what's real. Sometimes there's a... There's no shame in that, brother. We live in strange times. Everyone hears him talk. We must return home. Can you feel that? A wind blowing from over here. Maybe there's an exit nearby. Are there names by which I should call you? I'm Atreus. You already know I'm here. And that's my father, Kratos. How does the son of a Spartan come to speak for the Jotnar? My mother was the last giant in Midgard. Laufey? Laufey. I remember that name. She tried <laughs> to help people, too. She's in the light of Alphon now. You have my sympathies. Oh, are you okay? These are just much stronger when you're not sitting down. Please, let me get that. It's the least I can do. Whoa. risk Odin's wrath to free me? Well, Ragnarok is coming. I hope you knew that. We thought you'd want to help. You freed me only to start a war? No! Um... Um... Sotia, it's good to see you in the flesh again. Mimir, what's become of you? Following in your footsteps. Betrayal, indefinite imprisonment. Execrable torture at the hands of the old father. You didn't deserve such treatment. Did you? I will say my view was a touch better than yours. We found him at the top of a mountain with tree roots wrapped all around him. The only way to free him was to. Well, that. Highly pleasant for all parties involved. Ah. You okay? The light. It's. It's been so long. There's an outcropping just ahead. The shade will make it easier on your eyes. Come on. You said Ragnarok is coming. Which means Baldur. Baldur is dead. Odin sent him to track down a giant in Midgard. And then he found Kratos at... Anyway, I'd promised to take these two to the tallest peak in the realms if they'd chop off my head and convince Freya to bring it back. Amir. 
Speak of Balder. I was getting to that. It wasn't all kill this, kill that. Hey, we're back in the wetlands. Watch out! No, no, no. no. It's okay. Die. Before more creatures attack, you should have taken the spear, defended yourself. No, I've abjured all violence. But you're the god of war. I left that behind long ago. If Odin starts Ragnarok, you really wouldn't fight? Not even if I wished to. Before we go any further, the truth. What is it you want from me? You speak of Ragnarok. Is it a god of war you came to find? Is that the tear you need? Atreus. I... Forgive me, that I am grateful for my freedom. But if you want me to follow you to war, or worse yet, lead you to it, then kill me now. My fight is gone. Damage is done. No one's killing you, brother. Better that than to live to see Ragnarok. We do not seek war. We just want some answers. I don't know how to help you. It doesn't matter. The Giants trusted you. That's the tear we need. We need you. is for a good night's rest and maybe some food. I think you killed the guards bringing me dinner. Brother, perhaps now you'd like to finish the story? Uh, the sons of Thor attacked us. We killed them. Balder tried to kill Freya. I killed him. But you skipped over how he fought and freed the Valkyries. And that the giants are all gone. And now they called me Loki. Finding the shrines the giants and... are gone. When we got to Jotunheim, they were all... dead. Dead? Do you think Odin... We do not know. I think we're getting out of here not a moment too soon. Whoa. What are those? Reinforcements from Asgard. The Ain Hurriar will want to investigate my disappearance thoroughly. Are they using the sky to travel between realms? Odin's got tricks up his sleeve we haven't dared to consider. They're coming down on neither Valir, too. Will the dwarves be okay? The time for such concerns has passed. We must leave. Now. Seal. It's been too long. I've forgotten. Beauty. Tyr, in your travels, did you ever hear the giants talk about Loki? I'm sorry. That name doesn't sound familiar. The giants are... were... a very private people. Makes sense. Perhaps after a rest.
treehouse. Lord Tear. You're really alive. Am I? I wonder. Okay. He's just tired. I promised him some food and a room to rest in. Ah, of course you did. Well, let's see what we can do. Please, come inside. Uh, we'll be right in. Well, I'll be. So, can we talk about what to do next? There is much to consider. We will speak in the morning. Oh, okay. In the morning. Still. Yep. Oh, much better. Thank you. See? Sleep tight, Tear. I'm gonna turn in. Big day tomorrow. So, Tear. Sounds like promises were made. Let's see about getting you settled, shall we? If you'll follow me. Hey! Come see what I got for you. I'm sure we won't be interrupting any goings on. <laughs> May need time to construct a bed for someone of your scale. Please, don't go. So away. that's what's left to tear, huh? Back where I come from, we'd say he's been through a few things. Hmm. So have we all. Well, ain't you philosophical? That's all I can manage. All right. Um, some food. Hmm. <sighs> Perhaps I'll be able to sleep tonight. Really sleep. The sleep of a free man without the Allfather's eye on me. What are you thinking, brother? I am thinking. I want things to be the way they were. Well, I'd like to climb a tree again. Certain ships have sailed. for your safety. I know, brother. But holding him too tight won't keep him out of danger. The lad's determined to make a few mistakes of his own. And I hate to say it, but I think Tyr might be one of them. I've never seen a man broken so completely. His pain is fresh. You expect too much. Ah, perhaps. Pity Freya still wants to kill you. That's an ally we could use. That is not an option. No. I don't suppose it is. Trouble sleeping. Ah! Shh! You cannot sneak up on me like that. There's something I have to do in Midgard. What? Without me? I thought we were partners. We are. Just wasn't sure you'd want to join me. I'm visiting an old friend. Oh, I see. Or possibly not doing that, taking into account she's determined to murder you. She wouldn't really. Oh, look, I think it's lovely that you see the best in people. I really do. And I want you to continue to see the best in people by not getting yourself murdered. Oh. But we need her. It's worth the risk. Is it, though? How about I suggest an alternative? Something much less risky, but maybe could give you some answers. What are you talking about? A certain old friend you haven't seen in a while. A very giant friend. Jormungandr? Did you find him? Why don't I show you? It's just on the way to the vengeful goddess who wants you dead. So it'll give us some time to decide about not going there. So you know where Freya is? No, no. I mean, yes, but look, let's just talk to the snake first. And then I won't take you to Freya. How's that sound?
glad you brought your key of Yggdrasil. I seem to have dashed out without mine. Huh. You got sick of having house guests that fast? What? No. I could just use some fresh air. Is all. Well, I hope you like it cold. Should we swing by your cabin first? Will your furry friend be joining us this time? Uh... No. I, I meant to tell you. Fenrir's dead. Oh. I'm very sorry to hear that. As wolves go, he was always... very clean. Thanks. I'd offer to give you a hug, but... why traumatize either of us further? Okay. Caught a whiff of something awful near the Helheim Tower. Remember how to get there? Yep, just past the oarsmen. But that's what makes you think Jormungandr's nearby? I know what I smelled. Okay... Well, a lot's kinda happened, and I need answers. A chest. Not so easy, huh? Shut up! What's been going on? So, Father said I cast a spell when Fenrir died, but I don't know what he's talking about. Accidental magic? That is disquieting. Huh. Ugh, lift's broken. Accidental magic's not later. all. I sort of turned into a bear. A bear? Including the slobber. Yeah. Then I lost control. Frey knows magic better than anyone. Check it out. But not giant magic. Fine. We'll do it your way then, Sin. A huge venomous snake seems much safer. It. <gasps> We're blocked. How'd the Arm of Tear statue end up here? Find a way through, and I'll tell you. I'm on it. Huh. Looks dwarven. No way I'm lifting that. Maybe with some help? Oh, don't look at me. Who knows where it's been? So, Tyr's arm. Your father owed Thor a Blood payment. And, well, he got it. Wow, great story. Anyway, is that likely to happen again? Sudden, uncontrolled, bear rampage? Beats me. We've got company. Got my back? They're literally made of filth. I'm not touching- Who said you need to touch them? I like the way you think. Okay, here goes nothing! <laughs> Thanks for sacrificing so many objects from your bag of tricks. Clearly need the help. Oh, whatever. Shoot. I think the lift switch is broken. You can fix it, can't you? Or does your brother have all the talent after all? Depends. Is your father all the muscle? If I say yes, you realize you're confirming Brock has all the talent? There! Let's get going. Why are you worrying so much today? I just need to look out for the people I care about. It keeps bad things from happening to them. Freya wouldn't kill me. And Jormungandr's probably not even there. Besides, he likes me. He's only eaten me once. I had conveniently scrubbed that from my memory. Well, we're here.
Told you he's gone. Well, have you tried calling him? Blowing the horn's the first thing we try. I'm not talking about the horn. Your mute you say That's not weird at all. anything good talk <coughs> ironwood what do you think it means it means we should have stayed home let's head back Frozen. Maybe I can. Would you just let me do it? So, what was your plan anyway? Just stroll up to the old Valkyrie Council Circle and hope Freya's in a good mood? Well, now that I know where she is, yeah, exactly what I'm gonna do. Fuck! Don't tell Brock I cursed. He's unbearable when he's smug. Look, Balder tried to kill her. We had no choice. Not sure she sees it that way. Well, I'm not gonna ask her. Besides, they were your arrows. You're absolutely right, which is exactly why I'm recommending we don't do this. <sighs> oh dear. Maybe this is a sign. Don't be a baby. I'll catch you. Promise not to drop you this time. I... Fine. Just step between the realms then. You know it doesn't work that way. Though sweet vessel, I wish it did. See? Was that so bad? I sincerely hope I never have to do it again, if that's what you're asking. <sighs> My shop! Well, if I can't stop you, then this is as far as I go. I'm gonna stay and fix this. Suit yourself.
You sure you want to go in there wearing the very arrow tip that killed her son? I'll hide it under my shirt. And besides, it's a reminder to be better. You need a murder weapon to be a better person? It makes me feel brave, okay? Is that such a bad thing? When it leads you to believe you can convince Freya of anything, yes, it is. I have to try. Hit the fire pot! Please. Just keep going. Are you sure this is a good idea? You haven't got a plan. Brock says some people run better on chaos. I think he's right. What makes you think that applies here? This is like his death. And this is Ragnarok. We can't just do nothing and we're out of options. Living. Living is an option. Okay. Now which way to the council? As long as I go up and forward, I think I'll get there eventually. Yeah. All right. <laughs> Man, if father could see me now, he would lose it. I wouldn't have to hide things if he'd just trust me. How can I trust you if you lie? Actually, that's a good point. Maybe if you listen to me, could I not say the same? Well, where do you think I learned it from? Wonder what mom would do. Why don't you trust her? Why won't you tell me? Is that you up there? Yep, that's the door. Hello down there. Hey, come to your senses yet? Yes, I mean, uh, I'm not changing my mind. Ha, you do have doubts. Oh. Hey. Like you never do? Better than having regrets. I'm not sure I agree with that, but by all means, keep going and you might find those too. Just be sure to scream if she starts killing you. Thanks. I feel so much better now. Hey, Freya. What? Can't I pay an old friend a visit? Nothing wrong with that, right? I mean, just because I'm responsible for the death of your son doesn't mean... Okay, yeah. She probably avoid mentioning that. Is that Freya? Am I wearing this around my neck? The arrow tip that killed your son? That's a great question. Uh, I'm so dead. Here goes nothing. Stayed with Sindri. Wait! Stop! Your father. Where is he? Not here! He sent you? No! He doesn't know! You shouldn't have come. He took my son. What makes you think I won't do the same? You're better than this! You would stake your life on it. <clears throat> what do you know of me? I know you haven't killed me yet. 
So while you're thinking it over, why don't you let me go and I can tell you why I came? If you mean to plead for your father, save your breath. His fate is sealed. But you know who's to blame for everything. I cannot get to Odin, nor do I need to. Ragnarok will take him. Yeah? Well, what if I told you that he came to Midgard? He came to us. Offered peace if we don't move against him. Claims Ragnarok's already been averted. He lies. Maybe. But if you know Groa's prophecies, you know it depends on an army of giants. The giants wait for war in Jotunheim. No. I've been there. There is no giant army. There are no giants at all. Just me. You. In Jotunheim, we learn the truth. My mother was the last guardian of our people in Midgard. And, and that's not all. The giants have prophecies about me. They know me as... Loki. I think maybe I'm supposed to help stop Odin, somehow. But since all the giants are dead and you won't fight Odin, then he's already won. Why aren't we working together? Now that you can fight again! I am far from whole! Okay. Okay. But we found here. Maybe if you spoke to him. Here is alive? Yeah. We we broke him out of Sorta Farm. Impossible. The nine realms are closed to all. No. We opened up the way. We just don't know where to go next. But if we all band together... Enough. Enough! Leave this place. Go and do not return. Go before I change my mind. Do not expect the same mercy for your father. Okay, so I'm not dead, but I didn't get any answers. So this all might have just been a very big waste of time, which I will never, ever admit to Sindri. Oh, thank Amir. You're all right. How did it go? I was starting to think... Sindri, I told you, I could handle it. But I don't think she's gonna help us. Uh, where's your necklace? Huh? Oh! I was thinking and I, uh, got rid of it. She took it, didn't she? Uh... Today was your lucky day. So, tell me, how did it feel to run on chaos? I... I just fixed that! The alpha! I still got my bag of tricks. If you need me, I'll be standing back here. Nightmare. I'm gonna be sick. I'll repair it later. Let's get out of here before something else tries to kill us. Yeah. Good idea. Hate to bring it up, but are we telling your dad about this? Since you've come clean and all. No way. He'd kill you. Right. Well, speaking of coming clean, I need your opinion on something. 
Something I've kept from my brother for a long time. I'll tell you on the way back. Oh, come on. Did they ever quit? Got him! Okay, back to Alfheim Tower. You were saying? Long before you were born, there was an accident at the forge. Brock... died. I couldn't accept it. I went to the Lake of Souls in Alfheim to steal him back. Legions of souls tried to stop me. I can still feel them crawling all over my skin. Thing is, I could only get three of his four soul parts back. Sindri. Brock just thought he got knocked out. I've been lying to him ever since. It's been eating at me lately. You have to tell him. He has a right to know. When the time is right. As should you with your father. That's not the same thing. Anyway, you did a good thing. You saved Brock's life. I caused trouble. No. I made a choice. One that wasn't mine to make. What do you mean, a choice? I... I couldn't be alone. The other dwarves, when they saw him, they shunned us. So we left. Made our own home. Well, you can't change the past, but it doesn't have to be who you are. Let's go home before Father wakes up. That might be the best idea you've had all night. Trey. Trey? It's an... Shut up. So I'm not allowed to give you a nickname? Is that what that was? <laughs> Whatever, Loke. Nope, that was worse. Oh, and I heard it when I said it. All right. Shall we? Coming home empty handed. After Tyr was such a failure, just wanted now to. Now hang on, little Jotun. Tyr may not be everything you expected, but a failure? You saved him from a terrible fate. That's not nothing. And hey, maybe he'll be some help to us yet. Maybe. But Father's not gonna go along with this forever. He's probably already got our next hiding place all picked out. Well, let's not make it worse by getting caught. When we get there, I'll cover our tracks at the gateway and slip around back, and you just act natural, but quickly. That is not the risk that concerns me. Do we trust the path they would put us on? I trust their wisdom. And this is the closest thing to hearing directly from them. You are certain the giants would not counsel war? I said that they were wise. In my experience, that goes with being peaceful. Oh, little brother. Told you we needn't worry. Atreus, where have you been? Peeing? Hope you're all hungry. I could eat. Is everyone as well rested as I am? Be right down. Is this sausage? Uh, sure. Why not? I remember food tasting better. 
I suppose you'd like to try cooking for this lot. I accept. What? Hmm. Trey is who I'm planning our next move. Oh, so where are we going? Alfheim. I'm with the elves. Alfheim? You hate Alfheim. Why would we move there? Move there? Oh, we are seeking information. The shrine of Groa, young one. Your father tells me you found it there. Groa? The knowledge keeper? Oh, maybe there's a secret there I can unlock. Aye. Who better than the seer who saw everything? Hmm. I wasn't sure you, um... Never mind. That's great. I'll find. Hey, don't go forgetting this what'll get you there. You know what? I'm gonna build a bigger table. <laughs> More for me. Here, you're really up for coming with us? I am. Whenever you're ready. Well, whenever your father's ready, I should say. If my counsel might help you towards the answers you seek, it's the least I can do to repay you. Plus, I think it will do me well to see the light of Elfheim again. Hmm. That elf light is some good shit. So, where'd this plan come from? Oh, from Mimir, of course. I was merely asking how you found me, and he explained the secret prophecies inside the Yodnar shrines. Fascinating. From there, we sent to taking stock of which shrines we'd seen, at which point your father recalled finding growers outside the Temple of Light. And now that we can actually go to Alfheim, the prudent course of action became self-evident. Nary a last step for the world's smartest man. Even without feet, if you'll forgive the levity. I was always fond of our talks, you know? Aye. And it's good to see you a free man again, old friend. And thanks to you as well, bro. These clothes do better than I deserve. Darn straight. And never mind what Brock had to trade the landlord to get that Indrasil seat. The landlord? He's not the landlord! <laughs> uh, okay. Right behind you. I'll meet you at the gateway presently, friends. Excuse me, sir? Mind if I take a little peek at you? I promise I'll be brief. My goodness, what a strapping physique. Capable of an astounding variety of acts of violence, I imagine. What is happening? Well, this must be the squirrel that tends the world tree. That delectable aroma. Could it be? Pardon the intrusion. Ah, yes. Amber resin. Delightfully nutty with a hint of squidding. No. Not one for gastronomic expiration, I see. Wait, if you're Radit Hosker, why are you so different when we summon you for help? It's a long story. <laughs> but you are correct. I am indeed Radit Hosker. The one you know as Radit Hosker is merely one of my spectral aspects. And a particularly nasty one at that. I consider him so far removed from myself that he's practically a different person. Speaking of... Bitter, would you like to come out and see your friends? Park off! I'm busy! I suppose that was to be expected. Anyway... Ooh. Now that I've polished off all this resin for you, would you like the seed back? It is the seed. Indeed. A seed of Yggdrasil, to be precise. 
Since my dwarven tenants performed their little reconfiguration, you'll need seeds like these to open up new destinations on my tree. <laughs> Your tree, huh? Yes, my tree. Here, let me show you. So that's why good Master Brock needed an alpine seed. Well, as ancient as it, if we're not going to Alpham yet, it's probably best for Tyr to wait for us here. The soldiers we fought in Svartalfheim, those were Enriar? I thought Enriar were just spirits in Valhalla until Ragnarok comes. They were no spirits. Indeed, brother. Odin appears to have found a loophole, activated his forces early as a standing army. Perhaps something he could only do without any honest Valkyries around to stand in his way. Wait, are those... Odin's ravens? The ones we've been destroying all this time? So it would seem. Free are we. Free of the Father. Our half-wise man belong to no other. What do you think that means? I don't know. But there's definitely something more going on here. I think it means seeing more raiders come back as Hellwalkers lately. I thought freeing the Valkyrie Queen was supposed to restore balance to the realms and keep that from happening. That's a good question, lad, and a troubling one. If Hell's filled up again, it suggests that something's been hindering Sigrun's efforts, or perhaps something even more urgent is keeping her distracted and unable to visit, even occasionally. Yeah, sorry, Mimir. Ah, there you are. I knew you hadn't forgotten me. Master Kratos, I would speak with you. Here, do you know about Atostas? Of course. We were just catching up in your absence. Of the squirrels I've conversed with, he's easily the most dapper. Perhaps as we travel, you can tell me the tale of your prior visit to the Land of the Elves. Sure I can. Alfheim was the first time we ever roam traveled using your temple. Freya tried coming with us, but Odin cast a spell on her. She can't leave Midgard. That's terrible. So then we fought our way through an army of Dark Elves to get to the Light. You interfered in the Elf War. Not by choice. We sought to fill our Bifrost, and they attacked us. And the Dark Elves were covering it with their sticky hive stuff. When we freed it, Light Elves came back. Things seemed better in Alphon. <laughs> Did they now? Alphheim. It's been so long. Not sure where the temple is from here. That's where we'll find Groa Shrine. Broken history. Aye, not exactly an easy fix for that. I see the elves continue their war. Yeah, so much for things being better in Alphine. <laughs> Thimblewinter hit Alfheim hard. No. Storms have plagued Alfheim's deserts long before Thimblewinter. A living desert. Huh. 
It was once full of life, you know. And music. The song of the sands. It. Gone now. Another victim. <laughs> Hold on. I hear something out there. Something big. It's in pain. What do you hear? It feels like some kind of animal. How could anything live in a storm like that? Plenty of caves under the desert. Not exactly a paragon of comfort, but the Dark Elves get on best they can. <sighs> there. The Temple of Light. Groa's shrine is at the top. <laughs> Freyr never bothered returning to Alfheim, did he, Mimir? I no. I assumed the fate of his own realm took precedence. Wait, Freya's brother? Yes. Cut from a different cloth, that one. <laughs> Fair few birds you've hunted. I wonder if it might be worth visiting the Raven Tree. What became of Kavasir? Ripped apart by his audience. Well, one member of his audience. Well, Thor. <laughs> Freya's brother. How was he involved? Long ago, Freyr of the Vanir traveled to Alfheim, where he discovered a once beautiful land devastated by war. Using his divine powers, he set about cultivating a tenuous peace among the elves. Did you mention how that peace fell apart as soon as he left? I was getting to it. You hear that? Oh, no. That's enough, please. You don't need to do this. We don't want to hurt you. We do not have a choice. Whoa! Was that a ball? Find your brother! We're the ones who took the light. Why are you fighting us? We helped you last time. Atreus, focus. I hate Alpha! Most unfortunate. They attacked us. More will follow once we're inside. Is there truly no other way? Not like they're giving us much of a choice. So your father said. I'm just naive, I suppose. No. Just an optimist, old friend. Tribute to Freyr, made by the elves. He must have left it here when he raced back to Vanaheim. What is this? A charm to ward off nightmares. In this case, Freyr's. Well, knowing the elves, there are probably more tributes to find. Ah! Best we move on for now, brother. Don't think we have the right tools for this one. It's so tall. We came in from the top last time. Didn't realize all this was even down here. It's an older gate, built to promote cooperation between the elves. But it looks like it's been sealed for some time. I'll go first. Petraeus, let me know when I've reached halfway. So, uh, what's happening right now? This seal is meant to represent the balance of the realm when Freyr was here. Light and dark, working together in harmony. How's that look, Atreus? Good, I think. Father, now you go. Unfortunately for Alfheim, Freyr couldn't accept his sister's decision to marry Odin. He returned to Vanaheim and left this realm to its fate. To be fair, the Aesir did set him on fire that one time. Hmm. The door should have opened. Are you sure it's balanced? Yeah, but the realm isn't. Not anymore. Father, try pulling it the other way. Yeah, yeah, and here, you keep pushing forward.
Fine work, Atreus. Shall we? What's this Dark Elf statue doing in the Light Temple? That's just how they looked before the Division. The Division? Yes. The Elves weren't always split between Light and Dark, you know. This statue depicts the Elves before the war, before they discovered the power of the Light. Solid Light. Guess some things don't change. Careful! Yes. The stone briefly imparts a bit of light to your axe. That's useful. What's that sound? No sense in spoiling the surprise. It's the light. Oh. Ow. I've never seen the Lake of Souls so volatile. Aye. Fimple winter, you reckon? Of course. Making the light unstable. So the base of this light well, that's the Lake of Souls. Yes. After the creation of the Nine Realms, fallen souls began to gather down in those waters. When the Elves discovered its potential, they built this temple to harness that energy. A smashing success, to say the least. Many of them became addicted to their newfound power, and thus, the Light Elves were born. I imagine our Light Elf friends will be less than pleased. Speaking of Light Elves... Let me try talking to them again. They Best may... just to let these two do their thing, brother. Incoming! Souls. Here. They came across on light bridges. But now the bridges are gone. I have an idea to get us across. <laughs> Lucky for us, swearing off violence doesn't mean he can't disfigure some architecture. This way. Shrine awaits. The temple looks so different than I remember. It was all broken and covered in hive stuff last time we were here. These elves use Alfheim's light to enhance the temple, and themselves by the look of it. They definitely look more dangerous than last time. Oh, those were just the foot soldiers. They'll get more dangerous the further up we go. Great. The shrine is this way, Kratos. Yeah, he knows. He'd just like to be thorough. <laughs> See, by all means, then. <laughs> So if these elves use the light to build doors and make themselves stronger, what do the Dark Elves want with it? To return it back to its source. To them, the natural resources of Alfheim are sacred, none more so than the light itself. Aye, the Light Elf's success came at a terrible price. Alfheim's once lively desert <laughs> withered into a storm-ridden wasteland soon after the creation of this temple. I get it now. Why do they keep fighting? Dark Elves want the souls and the light left alone, but the Light Elves want to keep using them. That's the long and short of it. Aye. So then, the side is right. Rarely is it so simple. And not our place to say. This is an Elven conflict. I said as much the last time we were in Alfheim. Right. Sure made a lot of these light doors. Fortifications. Aye, none too eager to let the dark elves run the roost again. Father, over here.
Here they come. Do what you must. Lidor! Ah. It's coming! Find you! Look out! I still can't figure out how they're making light bridges. Look at this statue. These crystals. I've noticed them on the elves as well. I wonder, if this statue were to fall over the chasm... Yeah, look! The foundation's weak. Father could push this over no problem. Don't make light bridges. Now the light elves wear them. Smart. Almost there. Allow me. I dare say he's beginning to enjoy the vandalism. Pretty soon he'll be laying waste to pottery. Shall we continue? Well, at least we're getting closer. Look up. See? It feels even taller on the inside. Can't believe all this was down here. Another light door. There's some twilight stone on that statue shield. But that angle isn't gonna work. Do you think there's any way to stop the elves from fighting each other? Had Freyr not abandoned the realm, a lasting peace may have formed. Can we really place all the blame on Freyr? This war started long before his arrival. But he had the power to heal the world and end the war, did he not? He made his choice the wrong one. For Alfheim, perhaps. But not necessarily for him. Well, I suppose we're all entitled to walk the wrong path, regardless of where they end. Tyr, the last time we were here, we killed the Dark Elf King. That's... unfortunate. I'd wonder what became of him. We had to defend ourselves. But when he died, he told us we helped the wrong side. I see. <laughs> there, the central chamber will bring us to the top once we find our way past yet another light door. Ah, oh, the light of Alfheim. How stunning. Nothing. What's wrong? I could hear Mother inside last time, but I can't anymore. Her soul is one with the light now. United by forces older than Odin himself. She is at peace, Atreus. I hope so. When Father went inside the light, he said he... went he... inside the light of Alfheim? Yes. And yet here you stand, of sound mind and decidedly not incinerated. You must tell me, Kratos, what did you see? That memory is for me alone. But I felt only moments pass. Didn't feel like moments to me. I was trapped. Atreus overcame great odds to save me. One could but only imagine. Well then, Groa's triptych awaits. So, did you ever meet Groa? Many times. But she was plagued by constant visions, so... Conversation was... Difficult, to say the least.
you doing? Father, she's... she's gone. Yes. Keep moving. We're almost there. Huh. They've changed some stuff. Last time, there was all this hive stuff up here. So many Dark Elves. I... All this time, I thought the Dark Elf came. I thought all the Dark Elves were... Dear? Yes? We help the wrong side. Hmm. Are you certain that's the right question? I... What's the right question? Is there a right side? Exactly. What do you think, Atreus? Is there a right side in this war? I... I don't know. Then perhaps you shouldn't pick one. believe in fate, Sindri? Oh, of course not. You think I'd wash my hands this much if I thought that what I do doesn't ultimately matter? There's only one thing with any say over how we live our lives, and that's us. Hey, Sindri, wasn't your forge on the other side of the shrine last time? My, someone's got an eye for detail. Perhaps the Light Elves felt it looked better on this side. They do have a thing for aesthetics. Honestly, I'm as puzzled as you are, but it's best not to look a gift forge in the two-year. Very messy. Anyway, good luck! The Giants always did enjoy hiding their secrets in plain sight. Wait until you see this. Ah, yes. Here we have Groa's search for her missing husband. She was relentless in her attempt to find him. Meditated for weeks on end. Unfortunately, she found... something else. A vision of Ragnarok. Word of Groa's vision reached Odin. He sought her out. Demanded a private retelling. Didn't like what he had, apparently. Ironwood? That's the... I don't know what that is. The mythical sanctuary for giants. Curious. So it's in Jotunheim? I know some giants thought so, but Ironwood isn't anywhere, lad. It's a concept, a metaphorical paradise. It's not real. Presumably, Groa requested her ashes be returned to Jotunheim, while her soul found peace in the light. Difficult to imagine Odin respecting those wishes. Hmm. The champion? I think it's supposed to be... Me. You assume too much. Aye. Best not to read into these abstractions so literally. Prophecies are slippery by nature. Although, some are more obvious than others. Ragnarok. Aye. The end of everything. So this is it. There's nothing we can do to stop it. There must be a way. Why else is this hidden? Look. Here. This is what we saw. It's you. Fighting in Ragnarok. No. I don't... I can't. What's this then? That's new. Asgard is destroyed?
But the other realms thrive. She did. <laughs> Odin's working off a false prophecy. <laughs> so then, we can win Ragnarok. We can beat Odin. We are not present in any of this. But that was Tyr leading the charge against Asgard. Plus, Hell's army was there, and the elves. Champion. Okay, whoever that is doesn't matter. But for the first time. We know something Odin doesn't. We just saw we can win. Tyr? I won't allow prophecy to define my choices. But, but we just saw No, him. Atreus. This is wrong. Come. There is much to discuss. We can't stop Ragnarok, but we can win it. If Asgard is destroyed, Odin will not be the only casualty. There must be another way. So, what'd you see? A lot. Roa lied to Odin. Ragnarok isn't the end of everything. It's just the end of Asgard. Just the destruction of an entire realm, is it? To say nothing of its citizenry, its wildlife, those ignorant and innocent of Odin's misdeeds. Enough. There is much to discuss once we are safe at home. Perhaps we should focus on our egress first. Agreed. On your left! Quickly now before more arrive. We need to keep moving. He's really worked up. Think he's okay? Focus, Atreus. This way. Far from over. I. It's gonna be okay, Tyr. You've seen what is to come. I told you I would not follow you to war, and yet here I am, dragging an innocent, innocent? elf and marching towards the destruction of Asgard. What choice do we have? There is always a choice. I will not lead you to war. I won't. I'm not that god anymore. I don't want to fight. 
But with you three, there is no avoiding it. Your path leads to countless deaths, unimaginable pain and suffering. Sir. Hey, Tyr? Thanks. And I'm sorry about before. I... No. I am sorry. I should never have come. We shouldn't linger. I just want to do the right thing. And according to prophecy... Speak no more of prophecy. War will not give you the purpose you seek, Atreus. Only slaughter. So what are we supposed to do? Roll over? Do nothing? Enough! We will discuss our next move when we are out of danger. Assault. How fortuitous! I'm so sick of fighting elves. Can't they just leave us alone? yourself the legacy this one has left for the barons. I've had far more than I can stomach. We do not need to rush. We should see this desert for ourselves. Look, I know we can't trust prophecy, but I'm not sure we should just ignore what we saw either. 
We are not ignoring it. We will discuss it back home. For now, I wish to search for the wounded animal you heard earlier. You? Really? Yes. Well, okay then. Good. Yeah, lead the way. Brother, you ever think of cooking meat with those blades of yours? No. They would foul the meat. Oh, because of the magic on them? The blood. Ah, yes. Carry on then. Hail, fellow travelers. Atreus heard a creature in pain in the desert. Over a storm like this? Most impressive. You know Alfine pretty well, right? Do you have any idea what's out there? No, sorry. The elves and I... Long story, but it's best when we keep out of each other's way. Hive matter is... stickier than I care for. Good luck on your search, though. Stuff some cloth in your ears to keep the sand out. Don't knock it till you've tried it. Surprised to see you out here, Sindri. You must hate the sand. Oh, it is the worst. But with Brock banned from Alfheim, it's up to me to keep you ship-shape and sharp. So why is Brock banned from Alfheim? Oh, that's, um, I don't know if, well, do you know what a juicy Noken is? No. Well, thanks to Brock, the elves sure do. Uh, what is a juicy... No. What are these animals? Gulon, native to Vanaheim. Not sure what they're doing here. Someone trained them to pull a sled. Lucky for us. Domesticated <laughs> Gulon. Most unusual. Any particular direction to find your wounded animal? Or are we just enjoying the weather? I can't hear anything out here. Perhaps we find a cave first to catch our bearings? Look, there's a cave entrance. Stands underneath the desert. Is the creature within? Yeah, sounds like it. We'll find it if we keep going. What is this place? A refuge for the Dark Elves, by the looks of it. It's one of the few remaining now that they're barred from the temple. Great. creature you heard. What does it say now? It's not always like that. Some animals are just... I feel what they're feeling, you know? And whatever this thing is, it's in a lot of pain. I see. Why do you ask? I'm curious. Really? I am capable of curiosity. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Talk to animals or enchanted rings or whatever. Much has changed for both of us. Well, yeah. I'm just trying to figure out why you'd help some random animal. Is this not what you want? No, no, it, it is. I'm just surprised it's what you want, too. <laughs> I don't want to abandon it. But if we had to kill a bunch of Dark Elves to get there... I remember a young lad whom, until this very moment, would take on an army of Draugr to save a wounded animal. But 
these aren't undead Draugr. They're elves. I just want to make sure we're not repeating the same mistakes. Getting involved where we shouldn't. It's just... Why does it feel like no matter what we do in Alfheim, we wind up hurting Dark Elves? We are down here to help the creature you hurt. I know that, but I'm usually the one who drags us around trying to rescue animals. Why do you care so much? Is there something you're not telling me? No. Okay. <laughs> Bloody half goof I've ever laid eyes on. It's not just in pain. It's trying to sing. It's the song of the sands. You don't normally sing like this underground. Is that what's causing the storm? Aye. Judging by all this hive matter weighing it down, it's been trapped here for dozens of winters. Don't worry, Moons. We'll get you out. What is that name? Well, the last good thing we saw was Diener, so... Oh boy. While I appreciate the attempt at humor, that little brother is truly awful wordplay. Embarrassing feeling. Oh well, can't all be winners. Get out. Much of the hive matter is gone. We can free it from the surface now. Why did they trap it down here? Half gifers are known to burrow. Well, I'd hesitate to place full blame on our dark elf friends. But it's trapped in their hive stuff. Hive matter doesn't belong to the dark elves. Any more than the light belongs to the light elves. It's just another of Alfheim's natural resources. One the elves have used since the time of their ancestors. And while the light elves seem keen to banish the hive over on their side, the dark elves make effective use of it out here in the barrens. So, by clearing out all of this hive, are we hurting dark elves? You wish to leave the creature enslaved? No. Then let us free it. We can cut the half goofa loose here. It flies? Of course it flies. It's a half goofa. Sounds much happier now. And hey, the storm's gone. Aye. Perhaps we'll finally earn some goodwill from our Dark Elf friends after all. Look, Father, thanks for bringing us out here, but we don't have to do this kind of stuff just to keep my mind off Ragnarok, you know? This was not a distraction. No? Then why are we really out here? Have you ever considered... He just wants to spend time with you, lad. While he still can. Really? We do not know what lies ahead. But if Ragnarok approaches... I wish to enjoy the time we have left. I... I don't know what to say. Thank you... for bringing us out here. I'm glad we did this. As am I. Something I'm not sure I quite understand. In the Ragnarok prophecy Odin knows, all the realms get destroyed, including Asgard. In the version Groa kept secret, Asgard still falls. Wouldn't Odin have tried to prevent it either way? 
What difference did her life really make? I think of it this way. When it comes to subverting prophecy, knowledge is power. Without the full picture and context, the finer details can lead you to tragically incorrect interpretations. Old. We will finish later. about his travels to the lands beyond the seas. You wish to travel the world? I don't know. Maybe. See new places. Find out more about myself. Hmm. Now, if I recall, we were discussing how manipulating the details of a prophecy can wreak havoc on the believers. Back in my homeland, I was privy to the operations of a certain coven of heath witches who were keen on destabilizing the government. They picked an influential thane, an otherwise loyal man, and fed him a story of his own ascension to king. They dressed it up in enough detail they knew would come to pass, so when they did, the thane took it as confirmation. Next thing you know, he's helping matters along. He murders his king, sleeping under his own roof. Murders many he once called friends, too, thinking them fated to oppose him. Then, for a finishing touch, the witches revisit this usurper. With just a few deeds structured ever so misleadingly, they convinced the fool he was invulnerable to all threats. Physical or magical. or magical. Aye, aye, but was not so for him. All turned into a rather magnificent bloodbath as they go. The Thane ends up without his head and a name so cursed, none dare speak it. All thanks to a subtly deceptive prophecy. You've really got to write these stories down one day, Mimir. Well, I try. Jaw tends to get sore, but thank you, lad. Mimir, I know this sounds weird, but... Can you tell me again what happens when someone dies? Every living thing has a soul, and every soul has four parts. Form, mind, direction, and luck. Direction steers the souls of giants, dwarves, elves, and animals toward the Lake of Souls in Alfheim, where all the parts may be absorbed back into Alfheim's great light. So that's where Fenrir is? The Lake of Souls? So long as his soul still has its direction, aye. It's well on its way. What do you suppose that means? Though. One hopes. I suppose we should continue to destroy any of Odin's ravens when we find them. Well, I hoped here's had enough time to uh, find his equilibrium, or whatever. Indeed. I saw flashes of the old god of war in him, but they were fleeting. There is nothing wrong with opposing war, nor opposing prophecy. I suppose that's fair. Never can be quite sure what the Giants meant by any of it. Am I the only one that remembers they predicted our entire journey to Jotunheim? If the Giants saw Tyr leading armies at Ragnarok, then I believe them. The question is how you'll ever make Tyr believe it.
Speak. If you are ever in need of my services and I am not present, I have installed these handy chimes for you to notify me. Simply throw your axe and strike the chimes, and I will attend to your needs. Would you care to take a practice throw? A magnificent throw, Master Kratos. Truly a seasoned pro. Very well. You know how to reach me now. All that said, I'm happy to discuss anything else on your mind. I have a question. Splendid! I delight in offering my tutelage to the Inquisitive. Over the ledge, by the gateway over there. I noticed these dragons. Dragons? Oh no, young master Atreus. Those are lean worms, the brood of Neithog. Neithog? That's the mother? Correct. She's also a vital piece of the Yggdrasilian circle of life, as it were. I tend the branches up here, while Neithog chews the roots from below to prevent overgrowth. A delicate balance. So they're friendly? Well, they're not nearly so affable as myself, but there's no reason to expect hostility so long as they're left in peace. Neithog is a stern matriarch, as protective of her offspring as she is determined to teach them proper discipline. That sounds... Familiar. <sighs> Until we meet again. Oh, I'm sorry, that's it. Yeah, that's it. We're done. Go away now. Ah, oh, glad to see you back, young one. Come help me, won't you? Oh, sure. <laughs> we can eat whenever you like, Kratos. The stew will only improve with time. Glad you're in a better mood. Yes. I was a little overwhelmed before. Forgive me. It's funny. Nothing seems to settle my mind quite like cooking. Being locked up for so long, you forget how much joy lives in the little things. You're disappointed in me. I never said that. You're kind that way. But your eyes say everything. I haven't given up hope on you. Oh. You really must. This vision of me in your mind, where I'm as good as Odin is evil, the truth is always more complicated. To imagine it simple is dangerous. So you're really not going to help us? You'll have my wise and faithful counsel always. Mm -hmm. I wish I could do more. I really do. But for now, please, allow me to cook for you. Dress. Eat. Mm -hmm. Oh, careful, careful. Thank you. Mm. Enjoy. Enjoy, my friends. Yeah. We'll see about that. Here you are, a meal fit for a champion. Enough. I said we would speak no more of that. Yes, of course. Didn't mean to offend. Uh, I'm not offended. It's just a word. The word didn't cloud your judgment. So, you really don't think it means anything? After the journey Mom sent us on? Everything we saw in Jodenheim? What was it all for? Don't you ever think about that? Every day. But I cannot believe her purpose was to inspire you to take foolish risks. But what if the giants are counting on me? What giants? I am counting on you. To be safe. To be smart. But... Use the judgment of a man and not of a child. But what if Loki going to Ironwood is the only way that... Oh, Atreus. My son. And nothing more. Do you hear me? 
I'm not hungry anymore. Forgive me, Kratos. My words were chosen carelessly. You really should eat. Some people swear by it. On almost a daily basis. I just don't understand. Why is there all this stuff about Loki and, and the champion and Ironwood if none of it's real? He's just so... Mind if I give you the best advice you've heard all day, and possibly ever? Sleep. That's when all the troubles of your mind work themselves out. Sure. Fine. Sleep? Sounds great. I mean it. I do too. Get out of here, Heidi. Already gone. What are you? I wish I had known I was a god in Alphon. I wouldn't have felt so bad about killing so many elves. What's going on? Is that a mask? I mean, just knowing we're gods makes me feel so much stronger. Where am I? It's all you ever talk about, over and over. Feel something about it or shut up or it. Little people's little We're problems. We're sick of hearing about little people's little problems. Memories. And not nice ones. You broke the gate! That was our only way to Yonahan! What do you want? Let's go! Druma! I don't understand! Whatever. 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 Hey, whatever. don't run whatever. off! Whatever. Can you whatever. tell me whatever. where I am? Whatever, 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 whatever. Will you stop? <laughs> I gotta get out of here. He should pay for what he said about mother. Oh. But we're God. We oh. can do whatever this. we want. Please, please wait. Please. Oh. Why is this 
happening? This is a much better knife than Mother's. Please, stop! Where are you going? Follow you? Okay. Guess I'll see you around the other side. Where am I? Can you understand me? Hi there. So, where are we going? <coughs> Got it. I was having the weirdest dream and just kind of woke up here. Is this Ironwood? <coughs> Any idea how I got here? <coughs> I dreamt my way here? I mean, suppose I must have. I'm here. <coughs> Scent? What scent? Oh, that might be Fenrir you're smelling. Wish he were here to meet you. What's that smell? The air here, it's... I don't know. Sweeter? Maybe it's these trees. Coming! Ah! Ah! You tell me if you were going to eat me. <laughs> That's a joke, right? Through here? I'm not finished with it yet. <gasps> the pain is made from the bark of the ironwood trees. They absorb the memories of the forest so that the paint remembers too. Memories of the past. Of the future. I'd hate to get blood on him. Oh, it's really you. Uh, you know who I am? What's wrong? I've been... Waiting my whole life for this moment. Huh. You look weirder than I imagined. Oh. Sorry. <sighs> um, was that mean? Kind of. Damn it. I'm already messing this up. <laughs> it's just you're the first person that I've talked to in a very long time. 
And weird can be good. Uh, thanks. Let's start over. I'm Angraboda. You must have a lot of questions. Uh, yeah. Where Follow are me. We? You'll get your answers soon enough. Well, some of them. When you said you knew me? Like I said, you'll get your answers soon enough, both you. R right. Is that not your name? No. It is my name. I'm Loki. Bola. I'll, uh, take my own path. <laughs> so, where am I exactly? I was in this weird fog. Oh, I've heard that some gods can be disoriented. Still, you're safe here in the Ironwood. <clears throat> so, I thought Ironwood wasn't a real place. Clever, right? Odin won't go searching for the Forest of the Giants if he doesn't think it exists. Forest of the Giants. That's what some people call it. What's that? A brooch. It's big. Compared to? I thought giants were all supposed to be giant. So, what do you do here? Paint, forage, survive, preserve what I can. But why wait for me? Because my destiny is to tell you yours. Watch out! Oh, You've got I don't some think I've ever seen someone belt. fight a dogger I'm... that... Thank you. <laughs> Thanks. So, what were you doing before you came here? Surviving Fumble Winter. Wait, is that a thing around here? Did you know about it? I did. Is that chainmail? I wonder what Brock is injured with this. Who? Oh, they're kind of like uncles. Kind of? <laughs> you make our giants are strange. They're dwarves, actually. Still strange. <laughs> Can't believe there are nightmares there, too. Yoppa! Yoppa! Erbahuta! I'm great. I met another living giant. Are you one who holds my desk? Uh, sorry. I'm just really excited to talk to you. <laughs> okay. Everything's okay, right? Yeah. I'm just in a magical forest that shouldn't exist. Talking to another giant and she's... Yeah. Careful. <laughs> Whoa! Gotcha. Thanks. Guess I'm still getting the hang of things here. <laughs> Where are we going? My mother recorded her visions or prophecies. Thought you might like to see them. Where are your parents? They're not around. Are they... Hey, I know you have a lot of questions, but not this one. Okay? I'm sorry. Loki! Ah! I've got it. Tell me when! Thanks. Uh, you too. 
<laughs> Help me with this? Oh, sure. Edie's medallion. Race you across? <laughs> what? Go! Uh, okay! cheating. Almost to my mom's shrines, where she chronicled Groa's visions. It was her way of ensuring the legacy of our people would be gone, despite the Aesir's best efforts. Oh, yeah. Isn't that Vanya magic? Where do you think they learned it from? Here we are. Do you live here? Mm hmm. This way. Wait, is this my shrine? I've been wanting to see it again. For many giants, there is beauty in learning your path and walking it. Of course, others see the future and get messed up by it. Ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Before, where we scattered Mother's ashes. It was on the wall. Everything had happened already, just the way it said. But this part was damaged. Oh, that's us. It's in the bag. Huh. Wonder who he is. Wait. No, no, it's not right. That can't be what happens. No, 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 this isn't real. Ironwood's not real, Utengar's not real. None of this is real. Ah! Hey, 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 whoa, whoa, you're okay. Hey, you're all right. It'll be okay. Look at me. Hey, hey, hey. 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 Hey, calm down. Calm down. It's fine. Just breathe. Hey. Hey, breathe. Good. That's good. See, it's okay. 
okay. Let go. Come on back. It's okay. You're fine. I'm sorry. I don't know what happened. Oh, don't worry about it. It happens to everyone. That happens to everyone? Not the wolf part, but getting scared about your future. That cannot be my future. It says I serve Odin and my father dies. There's just no way. Look, this is the only way things turn out. The sooner you accept that, the better. Oh, shit. That was mean, too. Look. Just forget about that now. Forget the future. Forget Loki. You're a giant. And you're clearly coming into some powers that you don't understand yet. Come on, let's take a walk. You can help me with something, and I'll teach you. You know, giant stuff. Come on. Loki, I need your help with this. What's this? Here, follow me. Where are we going? We're gonna get some food, plant some seeds, my everyday stuff. But first, I want you to meet someone. Loki, meet Yala. Hi, Ala. Uh, nice to meet you. Oh, wow. She... she's a big girl, huh? Come on up. Good girl. Ganga. So, um, I guess you know about the whole champion of the... Jotnar? Yeah. Do you want me to call you that instead? No. Loki's good. Sure. Champ. <laughs> So, where did you say we were going? We need to collect some fruit. If we follow the river, we should find some. Those flowers over there. Silence. I... okay. <laughs> no, that's what they're called. They only grow in Jotunheim. My mother and I used to take naps in them when my grandma and her fought. It was one of the only places she found peace. Here's one. Let's grab it. Who's it for? Wolves gotta eat, don't they? Never seen fruit like this before. They're called green bulbs. My mother made me eat one every day. For strength, they taste terrible. Seems like they work, though. <laughs> Excuse me? It sounds like she likes you. Yeah, sure. Could you grab that one? Got it. Those wolves. You take care of them? I do. They're good friends. Can't wait to meet more of them. How many more of these fruits do you need? You in a hurry to leave? No, I just gotta save my father's life now, apparently. Pokey, we have time. I see some fruit up there. Then we should be up there too. <laughs> oh. 
Let me help. Thanks. You're welcome. After you. Listen, I know we're out here having fun and all, but maybe we should talk about what you saw in the mural. What I saw would never happen. I wouldn't join Odin if it cost me my father. If I learned anything from my mother, it was that these things have a way of coming true, one way or another. I learned from my father, too. Close your heart to it. But I can't. Not for this. Can't reach it. You know, I may have thought about going to Asgard, but I'd never do it. Yeah? My father wasn't helping me figure out my destiny. When Odin and I were alone, he offered to teach me. If you were alone with Odin, he could have easily killed you. I mean, not that easily. Let's head up to that ledge. More fruit. We don't need it, but we can grab it anyway. How do you know when it's ripe? My parents taught me. It's a delicate guessing game. So you can't be sure of everything that's gonna happen then? I'm sure of the big stuff. under that log. That's it. Come on, girl. Getting these ingredients, feeding your animals. You do this every day? If I don't, they'll die. Just seems like a lot for someone your age. Our age. Huh. Right. One of the last conversations I had with my father, he said he was sorry he couldn't protect me. That I'd have to grow up so fast. At least you got an apology. <laughs> Dads have a way with words, huh? Nice view. Oh, just you wait. It gets better. You know, maybe Oda needs you for something. Or... Maybe it's not what it looks like. Maybe I'm tricking Odin. Oh, is trickery something you're good at? I lied to my dad a couple times. Oh, a master of deception. Green bulbs go here in this bucket. Hey, if I need to, like, fix my bow or something, can I? Of course. I've got supplies in my tool chest over there. By the way, I left something in the tool chest for you. I'll meet you over by Yala when you want to leave. Is it okay to hang out around here? As long as you want. And Gubauda, earlier you said the Uden Guard can be disorienting. But what is it? Hmm. You know Amir? The first of our people. He died a long time ago, right? Odin killed him. Yes. Odin destroyed everything that remained of him, save for one thing, his dreams. Odin couldn't touch those if he tried, and they are ours. The lines on this one feel so alive. Oh, wow. It's quite the compliment.
I really like what you did with the colors in this one. Oh, that dark blue pigment in the sky was really hard to nail down. Well, you clearly did. It's beautiful. Thank you. Oh, that one's my favorite. I'm really proud of that one hand. Like, seriously. Look at it. Um, no, yeah. It's amazing. Hands are so hard to draw. They really are. This one's covered up. Yeah, it's not ready for anyone's eyes. Except maybe Yala. You can't be that bad. <laughs> maybe I'll show it to you one day. But not today. Is that another one of your paintings? It's pretty good. Nah, not my best. I could do better. Well, I like it. Only three colors? Where are the rest? That's all I need. I mix them to make the rest. Easy, girl. You've got this. Do you have any animals that could maybe, uh, go faster? No offense, Yala. Of course I do. They just can't carry both of us. This is much easier. Hmm. Got it. Yeah. I've got this one. There's another up the path. Just take only what you need. See? You won't need that. The roots snap pretty easily. There. Just take a little off. A good twist ought to do it. Like that? Exactly. We're coming! We're coming! There's more roots this way. She really doesn't like me, huh? She does. It's just, apart from me, the only other person she spent time with is... Drunk! On the ring! Loki, show me the wolf! That's it! You got it! Okay. Feels weird when I change. Like, I'm not in control. Do you need to be? Well, at least there's some roots down here. Grab them while we look for a way out. No knife, remember? Oh, yeah. Guess it isn't a total loss. Maybe I don't pull up roots for a little bit. <laughs> it wasn't you. Hey, looks like they opened up a path over there. Let's catch up with Yala before more of them show up. <clears throat> You're okay. But what about you, Loki? What do you feel when you change? Just... anger. The part of you unleash the wolf with that anger. Maybe you just need to find the part that will guide it? How? You can fight with all sorts of emotion in your heart, not just rage. If rage lets it out, another might help you... stay you. Oh! <laughs> you enjoyed that, didn't you? Maybe.
Home again. Yeah. Let's drop off these roots in the bucket up on the left here. Then, I've got one last thing to show you. You okay? Yeah, just... We should head back toward the water. This way. Is it all right if we stick around longer? Might wanna, you know, repair some stuff. Yes. Are there any animals you can turn into? Not yet. But for you, that might be a god thing and not a giant thing. Oh. Thanks for rubbing it in, though. Sorry. Joking. Through the tunnel on the right, y'all. That's where we're headed. Huh. Head in. Oh. I really like that spell. It hides this place perfectly. Maybe that's why I couldn't sense any other giants when Father and I visited. So, what's that soul in your knife? The what? The... There's, there's a soul inside your knife. Did you not know that? No. Whose soul? You know, maybe you should keep it where it is until you figure that out. How do you... I don't just go around stealing people's souls. Yala usually takes a while to get around. What you doing? Clears my mind. I try to see how many bounces I can get. You wanna try? Yeah. Looks easy enough. Oh. <laughs> a little help? No, I, I think I got it. How about... Uh, one. <laughs> oh, you're laughing at me now. <laughs> I'm not laughing at you. I'm you're not? Laughing at the situation. <laughs> uh huh. Okay, well, I might need a little help. You'll get it. Throw it flatter. It's all about timing when you release the rock. All right, watch this. <laughs> That didn't count, by the way. My last throw. Oh, it counts. A trogger came out of the water. Excuses. We can always try again later. Where are we going now? I have something for you. A gift, I guess? Should I be scared? No. Uh, I, uh, don't have anything for you. Can I ask you something? Of course. Are you, are we the only giants left? Sort of. It's complicated. I want to know. It'll be much easier to just show you. I well, promise. What about my prophecy then? If it is true, what do you think I should do? Doesn't matter. There's no changing where you end up. You can try whatever you want to avoid it, but it'll happen anyway. You're telling me nobody has ever changed their faith? Ever? I mean, sure, maybe some details change, but the end point remains the same. It's better to walk your path than to struggle against it. <laughs> What's that? A lift. We'll have to leave Yala for a bit. We're heading upward. Farah. This, um, gift doesn't seem like something you're excited about. Just means we're coming up to the end. What does that mean? You'll understand once we get there. Now, time to hold up my end of the prophecy. Follow me.
This way. We're coming up on the Valley of the Fallen. What happened to them? They were tired of living in fear of Asgard, so they hid. Left a pile of corpses to confuse Odin, should he ever find a way into Jotunheim. Where'd they hide? You'll see. <laughs> I got it. Oh, more marbles. Wait, you've seen these before? Not these, but I found a few in Midgar. Where? Inside your mother's murals. <laughs> oh, but that's... There are more out there. What are they? Just look. Yahtzee. Brother? Hey, careful. Baro. Giants. These belong to the giants? These are the giants. They had a choice. They could stay in Jotunheim, waiting for Odin to find a way in to slaughter them. Or they could hide. My father helped whisper their souls into these. And before he died, he passed them on to me. It's within these. They found peace. How they are your responsibility. Are you sure? Well, that's what my mother saw. You're supposed to know what to do with them when the time comes. And when's that? I don't know. Let's head back. This is a lot of responsibility. It is. It's all yours. Hey, you okay? Yeah. Yeah, no, I'm just, I'm done. I guess. Now that I've given you those, my part in all this is over. Y you could always come with me. We could fight Odin together. I was supposed to fight alongside you? I wouldn't disappear from your damn mural halfway through. I understand. Well, we shouldn't break up the set. Don't you think? Let's keep walking. Huh. The tallest peak in the realms. The only other time I was in Jotunheim, I was there with my father. You know the giant's fingers? I spread my mom's ashes there. Feels like ages ago. Hey, just because of some dumb mural, your story doesn't have to be over. I know. I mean, I have plans. It's just... 
It's over as far as the giants are concerned. So what's that make me? A friend? Wait, did you feel that? Feel what? Help me with this. We should get back to Yala. Something feels off. Boda, could you help? Is she okay? Uh oh. Loki, what's happening? It's okay. I can handle it. Go check on Yala. I'll come around. Hey, Gubota. Where'd you go? Hello? Up here. Y'all okay? Yeah, she was fine. Sorry about that. <sighs> so, uh, these marbles, they're all that remains of the giants? Not all of them. Some are just missing. But where could they be? Nowhere in the Nine Realms, as far as anyone can tell. Bara! Past those rocks, there's a sinkhole. That's where we're headed. We should... Something on your mind? Nobody believed this place was real. They're gonna be so surprised. Loki, you can't tell anyone about Ironwood. Not even your father. The biggest thing keeping this place safe is that Odin's not looking for it. My wards can keep the wildlife at bay, but if Asgard ever came looking... I get it. I'm sorry. I won't tell anyone. Lola. At noon, we have company. Whoa, hi. <laughs> Bye. Watch the sinkhole coming up. Lots of creatures in it. Used to get a lot of supplies for paint down there. Yeah? We should run them out. Your paint supplies are important. If that's what you want to do. Uh, sure. Why not? Nina. Perfect. Hey. Hey, I, uh... Killed a flower? Oh, I... It's a gift. Thanks, but, uh... You keep it. Anyway, we're looking for wretch nests. Those will give me the supplies I need. So keep an eye out. It's so dark down here. Let me fix that. Wretches! A nest of them! They're everywhere down here! Go away! If we can light more torches, we'll be able to see, clear them out, and grab what I need from them. Let's do it. You lead. I'll light. The torches. Yappa! Let me know if you see any more torches. I'll light them so we can keep moving. I swear, this place didn't used to be so... feisty. Yeah. Huh, so much better. I have an idea. What if you came with me? Where? Midgard? The other realms? Anywhere. My animals need me, but it's sweet of you to offer. What's your, um, favorite color? 
I'm supposed to pick one? Not if you have more than one. No. No, I got this. Um, blue. Wait, maybe green? Blue is also so good. Ugh, but how can I forget about red? Ugh. <laughs> ah, let's head home. <gasps> you know, I thought learning my destiny would change something. But I'm still just me. Was it like that for you? You're always still going to be you, Loki. It's about coming to terms with it. And you've come to terms with it? I thought so. <sighs> Back the way we came? Nah, head around the sinkhole. It'll be quicker. Oh, I meant to ask you, your mother had visions. Can all giants tell the future? Some, in dreams. Hey, yeah, I dreamt of Thor a while ago. Thor? Came true too. He showed up at my house. He did? Sounds kind of like a nightmare. Yeah, kind of. What are those? Fireflies? Are they dangerous? <laughs> That's adorable. <laughs> kind of nice. Yeah. <laughs> Perfect timing. For what? Oh, wow. I know things have been weird in a lot of ways, but I'm glad you came here. Me too. So now that I know how to get back here, I could come back anytime I wanted, right? When? I don't know. After things calm down. As in, after Ragnarok? Yeah. Sure. I don't think I'll be busy then. Come on, girl. You can make it. What's up here? A shortcut. <clears throat> Good girl. You can do it, Yala. I believe in you. Let's give Yala a break. I meant what I said before, you know, about your paintings. They're really good. Are you trying to cheer me up? Yeah. Is it working? Ask me again and... Well, damn time. Late to wine now. Now. Damn it. Who was that? Kryla. She. <laughs> What's wrong with it? I can't feel anything. There's nothing to feel. Carla whispered its soul away. You know where she lives? What are you gonna do? I've buried enough wolves this winter. Follow me. Watch out! 
These creatures are fast. I got that. If we run into Gryla, please don't do anything drastic. Why? She's my grandmother. What? She wasn't always like this. When she learned my father wouldn't do anything to avert his fate, she changed. I see. Did a lot of giants live here over time? You want to know about your mother? She lived this entire life before she had me. But I don't know anything about it. Sorry. I don't know anything about her. Your mother left the path of the giants way before I was born. This is Gryla's home. No lights. She may still be checking her traps, but she might have more animals inside. We have to be quick. So, Gryla, what does she need animal souls for anyway? She can live moments from their lives. Finally feel free. The wind in their fur as they run. The only way is to hunt and to sleep. But it's not real. <sighs> Ryla's still out. Wow, the things are so big. Where's the wolf? There's a door to the cellar over here. She might keep the animals down there. The key's already in the lock. Just gotta turn it. Loki. Hey, we know my future, and it doesn't involve us getting killed by your grandma. Not how it works. Too. I'm not hearing your voice. feel anything just like the other one she took its soul there's not much more we can do hold this what are you you didn't have a least favorite giant did you what? Never mind. This one. No. You can't. Your mother said I'd know what to do with these. Yes, eventually. I just gave them to you. I know. But... They can't hide forever. Right? And we can't just leave it here to die. Are you sure? No. I actually don't know how to do this part. Together, then? Hmm. Egg, yeah. 
Vecchia. Wait! That's it? Where's it going? That even work? I don't know. But you're giving up already? They're your responsibility. It's not that. It's not. I just... I think they're better off with you. Loki. Are you certain? Come you trace. Okay. Let's get back. Head up those stairs again. I'm sorry. I just We'll have to get out the same way we came in. She can't know we were here. And we better put that cup back when we get to it. We have to close the door. I've got it. Thanking me. What good does a soul do anybody? It's just a vessel for pain. I damn near envy you. Okay, the cauldron. Without it, she'll have no use for the souls. I'll distract her. You free the wolf. Then we break the cauldron. You sure? No. But we can't hide forever. I told you never to come back here. That's right. Look at me. There's so many things I've forgotten. And you refuse to be one of them. It doesn't have to be this way. If Ragnarok is coming, wouldn't you rather face it together? Destiny ever do for anybody. Was it your mom? Destiny is so young. I won't give up on you. Oh, fuck! Uh, uh, you brought a friend. Loki! Loki? Let him go! Sure you want to go back there? I told you, we have to. I can hear you. Over there. Got to destroy that cauldron. Can you swing across? Where'd you go? Hmm? You hiding? You stay. Pay. Here in my humble home, having a 
bit of fun before your father broke. Hey. Don't talk about my father! Do or I come! You'll do well, Miss Odin. Stay with you. Shut up! I'm sure he'll make such a fine pop. You'll forget all about your own one. Shut up! We have to hit the rooms on our cauldron! You will not touch my cauldron! Hey, Gubota, watch out! Get off the counter! You won't destroy it! Why are you so bent on hurting me like this, girl? I've done nothing to you! You can't keep stealing souls! They're just animals! you to the wolves right after I pulled you out of your mother. Get out! Just... Get out! No. Oh. Let's go. Oh. You think you've done something here, granddaughter? You are nothing and no one will ever remember you not even loki you'll just be a forgotten chapter in his story he'll be too busy mourning his father i see you again you wish you died with your parents You sure it's all right to leave her here? What if she comes out looking for... She used to leave me food. What? She'd say she didn't care about me, but... Sometimes I'd wake up and... I'd see a loaf of bread sitting next to the fire. It was baked just the way she always used to. She's not a monster, you know? She's lost. You wanna walk? It's fine. This was a long time coming. We'll be back once we reach the other side of this pass. Well, then, best two out of three? Atreus. Race me. Come on. I see what you're doing. You know you want a rematch after and last time. I appreciate. Um, last time, 
I beat you. I'm pretty sure it was a tie. Pretty sure it wasn't. So prove me wrong. One, two, three, go! Fine. You coming or what? Go! 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 You're fucked? Oh no, you don't! Watch the turn here! <laughs> Fox the whole way. Floki, er, Atreus, thank you. I'm sorry she was so hard on you. Me too. Well, I suppose you're ready to get home now. I'll meet you by the shrine when you're ready. Do I have to leave? Not if you don't want to. Your prophecy was less clear on when you have to go. <sighs> My prophecy. Without souls, they've forgotten how to find food, how to run. I bring them here because they won't survive on their own. But with those soul marbles, you could... No. I'm, I'm sorry. It's just... All of this. The prophecy stuff. It's too much. You grabbed more green bulbs earlier, right? You can go feed the animals if you want. You still don't believe it, do you? I can't. I think I'm being stupid. I think? You care for your dad so much you can't conceive of a world where you let him get hurt. Come here. I need to show you something. <laughs> Laufe? My mother's? I wish it weren't empty, but... I know how it feels... to lose a parent... to lose both. Your mother may be gone, but your father... you've still got time... to say goodbye. I know what you're trying to say. And I appreciate it. I do. But... I don't know. We've got to be more than a bunch of stories with our endings already written. What happens to you now? Like I said, once you're gone, my part in this is over. So, you know, feel free to stay. I 
I think your part is as big as you want it to be. What are you going to do? No idea. But I can't just sit back and let my dad die. I gotta get back. Okay. Huh. The stars here are different. No. You just are. I am gonna see you again. Sure. Okay, now. Close your eyes. And hold that tight. You don't want to lose it. Home. Think of it. Repeat it. Home. Like that? Other home, other home, other home. back to Sindri's and figure out how to save father. And I gotta keep Ironwood and Angravota a secret somehow. What'd I get myself into? I wanted to visit Fenrir. For two days. I... Do not lie to me again! Why did you come here? Alone? Do you seek death? No more than you. Then why? Why? What is it you will not tell me? I have tried to walk this path with you. We follow you everywhere. But you don't believe in any of it. And still, I follow. Because all that matters is that you are safe. But that's not all that matters. Who's keeping you safe? I do not need you to protect me. You sure about that? What do you know? I can't talk about it. But I just need you to trust me. You kept secrets, but I trust you. That's not the same. Why not? You hid things. Mother hid things. You had good reasons, and so do I. Why can't you just... Later. This and this. <laughs> 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 
Violation imaginable. No! You do not want this. Call your mind. Control it. She was our friend. Maybe. For the moment. You're of more use to me. Alive. <clears throat> this home. Home? Really? You will tell the truth when I return. Well, I must set things right. <clears throat> We'll take him. Oh, Your Majesty, a pleasure to see you again. <sighs> Rodnifer. Do not let him out of your sight. You heard him, sunshine. Come on, get a move on. Refuse to remain bound to this realm. We travel to Vanaheim. Well, guess it's just us then. <sighs> One gateway to Vanaheim coming right up. If you are still bound, how will you travel? I crafted a protection ward that'll keep me from being pulled out of the realm. It should hold until I find what I need. And what is that? The source of the magic that binds me to Midgard. We're going to find it. And destroy it. I will help you. But it will not change what I have done. I know. That's why I still might kill you when this is over. We going or what? Ain't going nowhere without this. <laughs> Where would you muck spouts even be without me? 
And what is it you expect to need Kratos for, Highness? Clearly you've been quite capable of breaking Odin's curses on your own. The other curses grew weak from Thimble Winter, but I still needed help to break them. This one is held strong. So all that trying to kill him, that's just your goddessy way of asking for help? I don't recall asking you to come along. It's because you didn't. I got an old drinking buddy I've been meaning to look up once this joint were back on the map. Got a hunch lending you mokes a hand's gonna end me up where I'm going. And what makes you think that? Cause last I heard tell, she was running with that beefwit brother of yours. Freyr... ...is not a part of this. Well, my hunch says otherwise. Scrote, too. I can feel the pool of the Binding Curse. Its source is further in. Follow me. Muggier than a Moonfallheim shit pit out here. And nearly as fragrant. I suppose Fimblewinter's to blame. But if it helps these two find peace... This is a temporary alliance, Mimir. Anything beyond that would require trust. Oh, please. You know damn well Kratos isn't the true cause of your suffering. You're both as much a part of my suffering as anyone. Hmm. That's gonna need more magic than we got, on us. Come on, let's find a way forward. Through here. Oh no. Something's wrong. My spell, I can feel it slipping. Well, it's Thimble Winter for you. You don't understand. I'll be torn from the realm. What can be done? Something I was hoping to avoid. Seems I don't have much choice. <sighs> Come on, then. You had a way around Odin's curse this whole time. No. I discovered it once you unlocked realm travel. And it solves very little. This form is extremely limiting. Hey, uh... How's about a riddle to take your mind off? I'm in What no runs way. with no legs? Easy, a nose. You'll have to try harder than that, Brock. Just you wait, smart guy. Fuckle! Watch where you're going. The plants are extra aggressive. <laughs> I told you. Prune it from a safe distance if you'd rather not get poisoned. <laughs> I recognize this market. Villages would meet and trade here. Why'd they never rebuild? Not how much I like scrapping Where has everyone gone, I wonder? They must have withdrawn. Hidden themselves out in the wilds and covered their tracks with magic. No way of knowing how many are left or how to reach them. Aesir ran cockshot all over this place, huh? You can thank Mimir for that. War with the Vanir was never my idea. My idea was brokering the marriage to end it. A great success that was. Obviously, the peace was no less a disaster than the marriage. Did he invade again as soon as I was exiled? <laughs> the market, huh? Looks like they sure left behind a lot of goodies. Shame to let them collect us. That's one way of looking at it. It's a shame. Bet this here would have made for a prime shop location. Dwarves in Vanaheim? That would be something to see. <laughs> so you just refuse to pick a favorite poem? That's uncharacteristically indecisive of you. I have a favorite poem already. One from my homeland. 
Being here again's bringing back memories of that wedding of yours. Fancy folks and quality meats. Though I remember your brother stirring up an awful scene. Why do you keep bringing him up? My brother is no concern of yours. Do you understand? Oh, I understand plenty. The plant life grows more dangerous the further we go. Hope you're up for it, Lord. Listen, I know how bad it can get with one's own kin. Sindri and I were on the out so long it was like not having a brother at all. Now I take some of the fall for that on account of me walking out. But it never stopped me blaming him most. Any of this sound familiar so far? And what is your point? My point is, that weren't the end all of things after all. Once we got our heads right, it was like no time had passed. He went straight back to being as big a pain in my ass as he ever was. That's family. You gotta keep them close. Where they make you good and crazy. Why do you think I need to hear any of this right now? My focus is on regaining my freedom, and I have no intention of being distracted. Look, all I'm saying is, if you happen to find yourself talking to your brother, maybe the worst words said between you don't have to be the last one. Enough! When the day comes to face Freya again, it will be when I am standing on my feet and free. Do you understand me? It will not be while I'm stuck in this preposterous situation. Got a case of pride, I get it. Hope yours clears up quicker than mine did. A touching story, that was. Bite me. You wish. What did Odin do to drive everyone away? What weapons did he make the dwarves build him? How much was just Mjolnir? Can one man... Depends on the weapon. And the man. This river... It used to be filled with boats of people visiting from different villages. I've never seen it so empty. Then you want to keep your insides inside. Yeah! All yours, big guy. <laughs> your people not receiving visitors? I wouldn't know. They're not my people anymore. <laughs> Bet you're glad old Brock around to save your skin. Uh-oh. Yeah! What? Ah! We should probably go get him. Keep your guard up. Send another god to do his dirty work. Thor too busy. We do not serve Odin. <laughs> no? Picked a dangerous place for sightseeing then. All right. No, no. No need for threats, brother. Oh, I know that voice. <laughs> you know, I'd cut off your head, but it seems somebody beat me to it. Aye. Oh, quite observant, brother. 
No, you're no brother of mine. You sold my sister to that prick. We broke it a piece. Oh. Did you now? Where is it? Hmm? And where is my sister? Some dungeon in Asgard? Is she even alive? Answer me. I guess we'll settle for blood. Stop! What is that? Why do you speak in her voice? It's me, Ingvi. There's no time to explain, just listen. These men are in my service. I'm here to reclaim what's been taken from me. It's too late. You can't undo what's been done. I can. I will. Now let them pass. So... You serve my sister. Come down. What's with leaving me hanging like that, you crusty hag? Oh, can it, Blobber? Come here. Well, found who I was looking for. Think I'm gonna stay and catch up. Oh, are you now? Do as you wish. Brother, if you wouldn't mind, I'd have a word with Lord Fair. Uh, Brock, what do you think you're doing just setting up shop at my fort? Just cause I hugged you don't mean I ain't still sore at you squabbling sandpipers. We fixed it so you can come and go between the realms whenever you please, you're very welcome. Go. This here's my family, and I mean much to you, but I mean plenty to me. It does too mean something to me. Otherwise, I wouldn't have made up with my Slunker Head brothers. Five million moonbeams! I didn't realize the Halter brothers were back in business. We're even cohabitating like a proper family. So don't tell me! <laughs> okay, well, well, then you can help me at the forge while you spill everything. Sorry we got off on the wrong foot there, stranger. We're pretty used to only seeing Aesir in these parts. Don't typically get friendly faces. That... That is a friendly face, right? His name is Kratos, and no. The Aesir are in Vanaheim. <laughs> yeah, we've been occupied since... Yeah, I lost count. What is your plan? Still kind of working on it. Mm -hmm. Brother, I think I could be of use here. If my counsel is welcome. Well, I'll take what I can get. Your mission will go considerably smoother without me in the mix. Come back for me when you're done. Hey, Kratos. As long as you're working for my sister, careful you don't screw up. She's not too big on forgiveness. A bit late for that one, I'm afraid. All right, let's see what we've got here. Tell me about your army. Oh, you're looking at it. What, you find? It's Odin's army. Now that the distractions are out of the way... I have words, if you would hear them. Speak, then. With anger you feel for your brother. I know it well. You have a brother? His name was Demos. When we were boys, he was taken by two gods obsessed with prophecy. The gods of my homeland seldom left survivors, so by the time I learned he had lived, it was too late for amends. His anger poisoned him against me, but I never stopped loving my brother. You think my anger is irrational? You've known Freya for mere moments, and already you're taking his side? I am not taking his... No. You're just sharing your thoughts on a subject you know nothing about.
I know what you're doing. Trying to play on my sympathies in the hope I let you live. I am only trying to help. The mistakes of the past need not be repeated. I don't need to hear about your mistakes. I've made enough of my own. Thanks. Everyone is so eager to advise me. As if any of you know me or what I need. The biggest loss in my life is due to you saving me when I specifically told you not to. Well, it was my family. My mess. I know Balder wasn't perfect, but he was mine. I know. You know? You think you can even begin to understand the pain of losing a child? Yes. I do. Before Atreus? Her name was Calliope. Calliope? What happened? It was long ago. Never mind. I shouldn't have asked. We need to get to that watchtower. We'll have to go through the valley, this way. I know your son's story. You should know my daughter's. In the service of a cruel god, I was tricked into destroying a village, not knowing my own wife and child were there until their blood stained my hands. I swore revenge. That's... I can't imagine. I paid back their blood a thousand times, and burned Olympus to the ground. Yet, the guilt remained. Perhaps you will kill me, Freya. But it will bring you no peace. Perhaps it is not peace I seek. All those times I found you. Why'd you refuse to fight me? Every outcome would mean defeat. What does that mean? I have never wished you harm, Freya. You helped us. You saved Atreus when he was sick. I did not wish to live with killing you any more than I wished to die. I see. My village. I hardly recognize it. I used to play hide and seek with Freya in the crops. We'd spend afternoons stealing honey bread from the Grand Hall. At harvest time, we'd dance and feast until the sun rose. Why did I have to come back here? And be reminded of all this. May Freya never waver. The other half is missing. May she protect us always. An old adage, if you will. You can get through over here! I hear them inside. Get ready to clear them out. Enough what he's desecrated every memory I have of home. Be glad you have a home to remember fondly. In Sparta, we were taken from our homes as children and raised in the Agoji. We marched though we drowned, fought for scraps or starved. Our elders beat us till we could not stand. At night, we made our way home, alone, over food for wolves. That is how Spartans are made. These plants behave similarly to the scornholes we found in the foothills of Midgard ages ago.
Well, considering how Spartans are made, it's no wonder you turned out as you did. Your fate was sealed from the start. Fate can be overcome. I used to think so. When the Norn told me of my son, I thought I could change it. You know well how that worked out. The Norns. The fates of these lands. That's right. You defy prophecy at your own peril. <laughs> Hmm? Hmm. Atreus would agree with you about prophecy. He rushes blindly to a fate the giants foretold. He disappears for two days, trying to prove he is their champion. Fables to fight at Ragnarok. What? I know all the Ragnarok prophecies. There's no champion of the giants. It is one core concealed. Because of this champion, the realms are saved at Ragnarok. Only Asgard falls, and Odin with it. So all this time, Odin's obsession with every detail of Ragnarok has been missing a crucial piece. Ha! Huh. Well done, Gro. Atreus will not be a pawn of prophecy. You still stand against fate, even with victory foretold. I will not march my son to war. He is no Spartan. I would keep it that way. You would speak to me of protecting your child? Is my tragedy not enough of a lesson? Fighting fate is a waste of the precious time we're given to spend with them. You never know when someone will come along and cut it short. How can you, of anyone alive, be squeamish about war? After all the gods you've killed, I have seen enough war to know the cost. And I don't? After the price I paid to end one? Take around you. I am reaching my limit for enlightened strategies from you today. Can you please just shut up and kill things? Do not tell me to kill again. What? I killed to protect my son, to aid my friends. But I will be no one's monster. Never again. You don't get to make that choice. Not with the debt you owe me. I am not here for debts. I would always have helped you. So much has been taken from me, and I'm just supposed to let it all go? Freya. Enough. <laughs> there. I feel the source of the magic keeping me in Midgard. What is this place? My home. I was born here. Hold on. Something's not right. Opinbera. World tree roots bound in Odin's damn knots. That's how he did it. Come on! Nico! Finally! 
Done. It's over. It's, it's really over. And now that you have what you seek, I suppose. This is the point where I forgive you, where I kill you. Have you decided?
to be honest. I don't think I can do either. There's still a part of me that is so angry that it'll always be. It'll always be angry. But no. You are not the one who needs to die. I do see that. Look. Everything that's happened between us. No need to explain. Not to me. for that. I do not regret saving your life, and never will. But the choice between life and death should have been yours to make. I should not have robbed you of that choice. I suppose it's time to face my brother. And after that? I don't know. It's been a long time since I've had a choice. Let me live with that for a moment. <laughs> we can take this way back to the camp. I can help with the vines. Now embed your blades into the glowing vines and light it. Your brother seemed open to your return. Oh, I'm sure he'd love nothing more than for everything to go back to how it was. Leaving the responsibilities of leadership to me. It's not as though I want to be angry with Freyr. He's my brother. He was the most important person in the world to me for half my life. Wait. Skull and Hadi are in Vanaheim? We learned the Giants rescued them from Odin and brought them here. And look, the sunlight wakes the sleeping roots. See how they stretch to welcome the sun? Beautiful, no? A far cry from the sheets of Midgard snow I've grown accustomed to. The Eastern Migration. It's just as I remember it. At least the whole realm hasn't fallen to predators and occupiers. I guess there's still something to be fought for here. Something to defend even after so much damage has been done. Maybe that goes for Freyr, too. So much has happened since I last saw Freyr. 
I'm not even sure where to begin. What do you want from him? An apology would be a start. I want to forgive him. I'd like to think he's changed. He's all I have left now. Did you ever apologize to Demos? It is difficult to seek forgiveness when you feel unworthy. Forgiveness can be powerful, even for the unworthy. My wife, Faye, taught me that. Hmm. Well, be glad you have a spouse to remember fondly. All my former spouse taught me was that there's no limit to the depth to which a soul can sink into darkness. Tricked me into marriage to spare my home and took my home just the same. Scattered my people to the wind. Maybe it's time somebody drew the line. Maybe it's time someone makes Groa's prophecy come true. I will not wish for war, Freya. War is a terrible thing, Kratos. But some things are even worse. You know, if Atreus rushes to Ragnarok, you may not be able to stop him. I will. And if you fail? I have prepared him to survive without me, if he must. So what's next for you, if not preparing for war? I do not know. But I will take no chances with Atreus. Well, you may want to think fast, unless you want someone to make that choice for you. <laughs> no. It really is you. You returned to us at last. Yes. Uh, let's celebrate. You reclaim the throne, we'll rebuild, me and you against the world. Huh? Just like the old days. I'm... not staying. I don't understand. You're here. Maybe together we can take back what's ours. I only just got back what's mine. I still have work to do. You've seen what's left of the realm, right? Do we really mean that little to you? You question my loyalty? Vanaheim turned its back on me. Oh, you still can't let go of that old fight. It was my duty to save as many of our people as possible. My responsibility, one you didn't take seriously then, and from the looks of it, one you don't now. You think this is a game to me? Yeah. We lost everything to that maniac you called husband. The man's family set me on fire. How did you expect me to react? Like my brother. Like the boy that used to have my back no matter what. And who I always supported no matter how selfish his choices. <sighs> I expected you to come and find me. That no matter how hurt or angry, you wouldn't abandon me when I needed you the most. Freya, please. I... I thought you were dead. I've had to live lifetimes with those last awful words I said to you. Have any idea what that's like? Knowing that your own selfishness hurt the person that you cared about the most. Abandon you. Oh, Freya. I mourned you. missed you so much.
And are you Ingrid? But I won't bind myself to another realm when I finally have my freedom. I'll send help, though. And I will come back. I promise. This hasn't been your home for a long time, has it? Do what you gotta do. All right, all right, that's enough. Ain't y'all got nothing better to do than gawking at family sorting squabbles? Come on, you two. Not you. Got a few things to square with y'all. First is you collecting your spare heads. Second is that sigil magic I smell on your bow. Reckon that's an idea I'll steal. How's about I set you up with some sonic mojo? Call it a trade. Very well. Third of all, if you ain't staying here, bears mentioning that Sindri and I find ourselves running a flop house for unemployed gods. If you're done freezing your backside off in Midgard, maybe come back with Beardo there. Check up on your old pal Tyr. That's kind of you, Brock. I may do just that. Well, all right, then. I'll meet y'all back at the house. Lesson you want me to fix anything up first. Don't run off without me now, brother. I've done what I can here. Well, brother, care to meet our new allies? Or shall we depart? Oh, uh, excuse me. Can y'all stop and help a lady out, please? No refunds. Ugh. What is it? Yeah, I spent a lot of time tinkering up and down the River Delta. Once Owen's army came to town, I lit out of there faster than a tassel worm with its bottom ablaze. Was so frazzled, I accidentally left behind a few irreplaceables. What irreplaceables? Well, just one, really. An orb. I'd be mighty grateful if you would find it. What is it? And if you come across any of my old, beautifully rusted armor pieces, I'll use the scrap to whip up something specially suited just for you. What is the orb? Just bring it back here, and you'll make me happy as a sunbeam. Oh, and don't forget to keep an eye out for my old armor. I'll fix it up for you. Free charge! Mm. What sort of orb do you imagine we're looking for, brother? I do not know. Should we ask him? Don't be rude. What's rude about asking for help? Big Veer, my love. Focus on your work. You need to weave those tighter. Your alliance is unusual. I, I think what Kratos is trying to say is... ...he's never seen a Light Elf and Dark Elf work together. It's a welcome sight. Hopefully one day, a common one. Mimir tells me you're something of an adventurer. Should you ever find your way to the Forbidden Sands and Alfheim... Contested territory. Past the Barrens. There are rumors of a sanctum, and artifacts our elders don't want us to see. Anything that sheds light on our suppressed history would benefit all of Alfheim. Uncovering secret history? Sounds like my kind of adventure. Knowledge of the Elves' common ancestry is what brought us together. Stories of Alfheim before the division of light and dark. It's very taboo. Didn't stop you from spreading word of it. Which is how you ended up in prison. Where she and I met. As enemies, naturally, but escaped as friends. More than friends. You can stop talking. Okay. <clears throat> Good luck out there.
I remember where to look for a gateway. Follow me. Well, you two seem to be getting on since completing your mission. Dare I hope this alliance has some staying power after all? It seems to me we share a common enemy. Kratos, you may not accept that Ragnarok is inevitable, but you're smart enough to know Odin is a threat. Whatever comes next, our best chance of surviving it is to work together. Do you agree? I do. Then as to Brock's offer, you can imagine staying under the same roof as a couple former enemies? No further temptations towards terrible vengeance? Not against you. Either of you. You have my word. Tears really alive? Aye. Not exactly ship shape. He sleeps in a broom closet now. But he's adjusting. How did you find him? Largely, that's down to Atreus having figured out how to access the prophecies giants reserved for their own kind. We only learned of it ourselves after Thor and Odin came calling. To your home? Is it still standing? Barely. But all the violence was seemingly just a distraction to let Odin have a private word with Atreus. Odin was alone with your son? Did he tell you what they spoke of? Yes. He said that Odin invited him to Asgard to help him find his answers. The answers he's rushing into fate in search of. That's troubling. Well, if you're ready to talk to him, the Mystic Gateway is ahead. If not, I have some unfinished business up this river I could use your help with. Or we can follow up on that elven sanctum out in Alfheim's desert. Hmm. If you want to continue exploring, we'll need to remove that log in the river. What is this? The crest of Skirnir. Never quite as smart as he thought. What is this? I don't know. But giants definitely crafted it. There's two wolves represented here. Perhaps a connection to our friends in the sky. A mystery for another time. We can explore the river now, and hopefully right some old wrongs. What is your unfinished business? I left something behind, near the falls. Your wedding site? Now why do you want to be going back there? To be free of the bonds of my marriage, and to Asgard. I think you severed that a long time ago. Not completely. Not enough. Guide us. My people settled this river many ages ago. Thousands traveled it on pilgrimage to the Shrine of Worship. But then the Aesir came. This is all that's left. Astrid's garden. The wilds reclaimed it. It was beautiful once. Yes. We weren't yet at war, but relations with the Vanir and Aesir had been hostile for ages. Freyr got it into his head that he could improve relations by sharing our magic with them. Vanir techniques for bountiful harvests, enough to feed their whole population. Getting set on fire was the thanks he got. That's true. The Aesir were too undisciplined and impatient for the subtlety of Vanir spellcraft. So, when things went wrong, they blamed their teacher. So Freya was a guest when Odin burned him? Not exactly. 
Odin didn't mind locking Freya up. He saw the potential of the magic and wanted to know more than how to improve crop yields. It was a mob of lesser Aesir, bitter and short-sighted, who tied him up and lit him aflame as punishment for the sabotage they imagined him guilty of. Obviously, he survived. In fact, he used the opportunity to escape. But such an affront made war inevitable. Freyr certainly wasn't the same after that. At least for a while. His carefree ways were replaced with nightmares, paranoia, and lashing out. It doesn't excuse what he said at my wedding, but... I do understand where his anger came from. Freya, there's something I've always wanted to ask. What was it Grimthur whispered to you? Who? Grimthur. The son of Thormur, the stonemason, who disguised himself and built Asgard's wall. Oh, yes. One of the many occasions Odin saw fit to involve me in a wager without my consent. I wish I could say that was the worst of his husbandly habits. What wager? I've told this story, brother. And now she may tell her own. There isn't that much to tell. I knew nothing of it at first, surely because Odin didn't expect to lose the bet. A mysterious mason had to build the entire wall in three turns of the season. Two! It was two! And if he was late, he'd be owed nothing. But if he succeeded, he was promised an audience with the Queen. Or so I learned one day when Odin burst into our bedchambers, raging and half-drunk before noon, telling me to get dressed and go see what the mason wants. So, off I went, not knowing what had truly been promised or expected dagger stashed in my robe for emergency. And this mason, this giant in disguise... His name was Hrimthur! He just smiled to see me, and as you said, he whispered in my ear. He said the Aesir had killed his father, and he needed to know that one day they'd burn for it. I pointed out I was Aesir now too, technically. He gave me a look, as if he somehow knew better and continued. He said he'd built in a structural flaw behind the Asgard Realm Tower. I knew it! How do we make use of it? We don't. He said Surtur would know what to do. And if Surtur's approaching Asgard's wall... Then it is already Ragnarok. Ah, blast it. I hoped it might have given us another way. Oh, well, lady, I was curious about some of the flora we've encountered on our travels. And you will remain curious. It's not my job to teach you everything, Mimir. Look, I was just asking. And you have been told. Oh, you can say that again. Find you, watch out! You know, I would have beaten you. What? Earlier, if Atreus hadn't been there. Hmm. Perhaps. We could go again, find out for certain. I would rather not. I'll bet you wouldn't. Waterfalls, we're close. There should be a gate up ahead. That's quite a gate. I don't suppose you know a way through. The Pilgrim Gate. I can open it. We just need to find the right vantage point. Despite his actions in Midgard, Atreus does still care for you. I know. I raised a son, too. It may be hard to believe, but... He was quite similar to Atreus. Hold that thought. I think he might get violent. 
Rest until they are at rest. Gunhild. Such power corrupts. My poor friends need to be freed of me. Gunhild needs my help. So, what's it like being back? Like I haven't come back at all. Everything's changed. I'm a stranger here. I know the feeling. appeared over there. See it? Mekin. We should be able to reach the wedding site. Have it. You mentioned you had a favorite poem from your homeland. What was it about? A cunning uh, general. The closer we get, the more tightness grows in my chest. You're sure you want to continue? Confronting the past comes with a price. It must be done. I've lived with this pain far too long. If you can believe it. We were happy once. For a time, foolishly believed the peace would last. Perhaps that was my mistake. All I wanted was to protect my family. There is no shame in that. I failed all the same. Do you know why I left that night, Mimir? Only a hunch. He showed me who he really was. Odin asked me to cast a protection spell on him. The one I used on my son. But the way it drove our boy mad. I refused. He was furious. Throwing every object he could find. Destroyed the room. There was only coldness. I tried to make it work. No one could have lived like that, your majesty. <laughs> Reavers, of course. Rot! Watch out! It's a soul eater! It doesn't belong here! We must get rid of it! Sacred. Now it's like abandoned, vandalized. Hopefully, the objects I'm looking for are still here. Look at this. to 
you. A symbol of commitment. After the ceremony, he had a new one made every week, each more beautiful than the last. He stopped when I refused to teach him the old magic. You know, my people used to send me gifts too, so I wouldn't forget home. But after the birth of my son, they stopped too. I thought I'd feel peace by breaking it, but I feel nothing. Perhaps what you see cannot be found in the circlet. You may be right. Another wolver! Nasty hit! You all right, brother? The word isn't complete. It's missing a piece. The door is shut. If memory serves, we'll need to light both of those torches to open it. See the chalice. It's a denouncement from my people, placed during my wedding. From the ceremony. A symbol of reconciliation. drank from the lover's chalice until we could hardly stand. I confided in him that night about wanting an apology from Freyr. Odin reassured me that he'd be the only family I'd need. And I believed him. is complete, but I still can't read it from here. Let's head back down. Better now. 
No. The pain only grows. <sighs> Will I never be free of it? What more do I need to do? Fiyoka. After all the battles I've fought, why does the other side of this door scare me most? The most difficult battles are fought within, but this battle, you will not fight alone. Are you ready? Yes. There it is. My final tie to Asgard. We drove that sword into the pillar together. The sword was forged for the ceremony. A symbol of our union. The stone refuses to let go. The deepest wounds form the strongest bonds. Bastard said it as part of our vows. I hate it when he's right. Asgard holds a part of me I can't sever. My bond to my son. To the Valkyries. That damn realm isn't just Odin's. It belongs to me, too. The pain he caused is his. I refuse to keep holding on to it. This sword no longer holds our legacy, but it will serve as mine. A much more fitting use for it. I suppose it's on to the next battle now. Yes. You won an important one today. If I may. Since when have you ever asked for permission? It's just... I owe you my life, such as it is. And I... I caused you so much pain. But you're in a terrible situation. For that, Freya... I'm truly sorry. I wanted to end that war, too. I know. But I swear to do better by you nonetheless. Anything you ask, consider it done. I'm forever in your debt. I appreciate that. Even if you can't help being an obnoxious know-it-all. I'm afraid I'll never know how to stop doing that, Your Majesty. <clears throat> Oh, <laughs> 
for that boat. You know, an arrogant man once told me you can't change the past, only how it shapes you. I think he might be right. It's been a while since I had a confidence. Would the god of few words lend me his ear now and again? As long as I am needed. Say their markings. We should be careful. Uh. What is it, Lemire? Ah, it's nothing, brother. Just... You ever have those moments where you wish you could go back? Rewrite your own past, make different decisions. Journeying through time is more trouble than it is worth. Ah, fair point. You're speaking metaphorically, right? No. Of course you are. for me, don't ya? Right. Business time. Yeah. Oh, well, thank you so much. Elsa's been itching to get her ball back all dang winter. It's her favorite hole. What? Now, if you could find the rest of my armor set I left out there, I'll repair it for you. Free of charge, even. Oh, I uh, actually, any dwarf can. I just didn't think you'd get my orb for me if you knew that. Sorry, y'all. Good thing you were so cautious, brother. Quiet. He's right, Mimir. Show respect. The squeaky toy could have been the death of us all. And it nearly was. Do not laugh. It's hard not to, brother. Try. Okay. Okay. And how is it you two know each other? No, I can't be divulger in guild business. You gotta respect the secretude of it all. I'm sorry? Let's just say Brock and I have long enjoyed certain common interests. That's right. Like getting us into trouble. And getting you back out of it again. What? Huh. That's only mostly true. Okay, so does that answer your question? Close enough, I suppose. So, Brock, if Lunda can step between realms to travel about like you, I presume it must be the guild you know each other from. Maybe. Or maybe I just showed her a few tricks while we were tying one on. Or maybe I showed him. You don't know us, clever Pam. Lunda, would you happen to know how your light and dark elf friends came to be involved? You mean Bay Fair and Bailey? Well, they were both imprisoned by one side or another, or maybe both. Escaped together, been on the run, and absolutely all over each other ever since. A dark and light elf fleeing their people together. Quite a risk. Being in love's always a risk. That's what makes it fun. Hmm. You could say the same about hot cheese. Linda. What do you know of Birger, the Traveler? Not much. I oh, ain't the talking type, really. But from what I can glean, he walked the path of the Traveler for a time, then found out something that made him step off it. Hard. Any idea what he saw? No, I'm not sure, but I think he saw what was at the end of the path. And, uh, didn't care much for it. Finding out Odin was pulling their strings all along probably put a colossal kink in his codpiece. 
Freya? How you doing? I'm fine. On that, madam, we are agreed. What? Oh. Oh, uh... Thank you? Anytime. Ha! <laughs> Lunda, you ain't changed one damn bit. Ha ha ha! Well, brother, before you see the lad again, might we discuss an approach? He will tell me where he has been. That is my approach. Ah, classic Spartan diplomacy. Wait. Did you say Odin invited him to Asgard, and then he disappeared for two days? Aye. But surely the lad's got more sense than to... Don't underestimate Odin's powers of persuasion. He filled my son's head with lies. Why wouldn't he do the same with yours? And you tell that one-eyed nutsucker he owes me one! Thank me now and eternally! Well, looky there! Glad you could make the trip, your goddessness! I put your sigil magic on the young turd's bow. But then he and Sindri got into it over something. Mm, I don't rightly know who's yelling at who in there, but I figure they both got it coming. Well, come on, then. Hey, Tyr! Wake up! You got company! Now, why don't you just make yourself at home in Sindri's so-called study over yonder? You sure he won't mind? Mind? You can't hurt my father. You better screw his head back on, and I mean tightly. So you're back. Are you ready to answer me? About what? Where did you go? Who did you see? Was it Odin? What? Is that what you think? Do you deny it? <laughs> answer me! Did you go to Asgard? No! Of course not! But so what if I did? It's my future, it's my life. You are my son. Then why don't you trust me? If you want me to trust you, then tell me the truth. The truth is you're being a complete asshole. Laddie, you know that's no way to change a man's mind. He doesn't have any faith in me. It's fine if he keeps secrets. It's fine if mom did. It is not fine. Her secrets are hard to be stuck with this path. Oh, okay. So you don't believe in her anymore either? This is not about your mother. What you have done is lie. Wonder where I learned that. That's quite enough. Since when do you always take his side? Since he became the one making sense. Look, I was only thinking about going to Odin, but I swear it's for a good reason. There is no good reason to go to Odin. He'll only cloud your mind. But I'd be going for us. I, I gotta stop something bad from happening. Something bad did happen. Look at me, at Freya, at Tia. Odin did this to us. What's well, got everyone caterwauling all of a sudden? Atreus wants to go to Asgard. Asgard? Get kicked in the head or something? Great. I guess everybody's against me now. You must choose who you're going to be. Are you going to continue to lie and keep things from me? Or are you my son? Choose? I never get to choose. Just leave me alone. Listen. Let go of me. Listen. Jack, let go. What the fuck? Atreus. It's Sindri. Just, just try to keep control. Great. 
freezing cold. Lots of Hellwalkers. Definitely in Midgard. Yep. Hold it up. Keep it coming. You're just helping me stay warm. Gotcha! Gotta find some shelter. Something out here doesn't want to kill me. I just need someplace warm. Then I can figure out where to go next. Uh, that doesn't look good. What is this thing? Some kind of white? First, he thinks I've been to Asgard, then Lyme. Ah! I'm trying to save your life, you big jerk! Gotta get out of the cold. And then what? Where could I go? If I go to Asgard, following the prophecy where Father ends up dead, if I stay locked up at home, there's nothing I can do to stop it. I guess in Asgard, I could at least keep an eye on Odin. Be a spy. Find out his plan. Get control of this. Oh, who am I kidding? I can't go to Asgard. Wait, are those red leaves? Freya's house. Oh, no. Charlie? Oh, no. Charlie! Please. Please! Charlie! Mm. <laughs> hey, big guy. I'm here now. Don't you worry. I need to get you warm. 
You're gonna have to stand to let me into that house. Think you can do that? Come on, Charlie. You have to do this. I... I can't help if you don't... Emily! Emily! I know, buddy. I know. It's cold in here. Freya hasn't been checking on you? Right. Too busy hunting us down. Come on. Let's get you warmed up. Should be able to make a fire from all this mess. Is this Baldur's? Wonder how Father was able to earn her forgiveness. Valkyrie armor? Does this go with the wings on the wall? From her friend? Wonder what happened to her. Wow, it's beautiful. Never seen anything like this around here before. From her home in Vanahan? She must have really missed it. I can't believe she never came back to check on her house. To check on you. That's not an excuse. You're welcome. Where do I go now? I can't stay. I just can't let my dad die, too. There's got to be something I can do. It's okay, buddy. I think he's here for me. I'll be okay. I think. Okay. I'm ready. Take me to him. Should have learned to swim before Midgard froze over.
Hello? I'm here. Odin? Bird. Is this Asgard? Hey, wait up! The wall! This is Asgard! Hold on! I'm coming! What am I gonna say to Odin? Uh, hi. I came to be your apprentice, I guess. But it doesn't mean I, like, serve you now. I'm not in a foretold by prophecy kind of way. But it's safe from the other side of that wall. Wait, how do I get past the wall? I never came up with a mere story about Hrimthur. The stonemason's son built a flaw into it. He only told Frey about it, and I didn't think to ask. Hold on, I was Frey at the house. Did she move in with us? You know what? Focus, Loki. Hmm. Father would just burn this away with his blades. But what can I do? <laughs> there we go. Wait. That sounds like people. You need help? You, uh, you look a little lost. Oh, uh, I'm just getting my bangs. Well, there's nothing to see this way except the big wall. Is there a gate to go through? <sighs> nope. Not unless you're an Aesir god, but I guess you'd know that if you were an Aesir god. Me? No. I'm from Midgard. What? No shit. Me too. I'm skilled here. Lucky. Hang on. Are you all from Midgard? <laughs> yep. The, uh, All Father saved us from the desolation. Gave us a safe place to settle, but we don't go in there. Can't get into the city unless you know magic. You, you don't know magic, do you? A little bit, yeah. What? No shit. You, you walk through walls? Not yet. Huh. Couldn't I just climb over it? <laughs> that? Without any gear? Uh, no. Aren't you afraid of dying? Well, yeah. I mean, look at that. But, Odin awaits. Wait, you know the Allfather? I'm sort of his apprentice. No shit! What is he teaching you? I'm not sure. Well, how many other students? I don't know. How long you stay? You don't know. Okay. I'm gonna go climb that wall now. Well, this I gotta see. You need help? I appreciate it, but I gotta go alone. Oh, I wasn't gonna climb with you. I may owe Odin my life, but I don't owe him my death. Not that I think you're gonna fall. Forget I said anything. <sighs> Was that Hugin? Is Hugin your guide? Who? Loki, you seem like a good guy. I really hope I am not about to watch you die. Thanks. Me too. <gasps> I, you know not to look down, right? I like looking down. Shows me how much progress I've made. Wow. Yeah, that's great. Can I use that? I mean, a little ironic, last words, but... What was that? Nothing. Nothing. Hey, you're doing great. <sighs> you can do it, Loki. Thanks, Gilder. Hope you're right. OK. 
Okay, I can do this. This is fine. Just keep climbing. And now where? I'm totally fine looking down. Hey, Hoogan. Don't suppose you'd like to pass the time by telling a story, would ya? Yeah, that's what I thought you'd say. Yeah, I'm coming. Let's get that chain down. I wonder why I can't hear your thoughts. Sure seemed like Odin could. That was you in our cabin, right? You and your brother, I guess? Taking that for a yes. Huh. Don't see any more shortcuts. Just gotta climb a little further. Maybe a lot further. But I've come this far. Hey, Hugin. How about I tell you a story? Once there was a giant named Loki, who thought it'd be a good idea to accept Odin's invitation to Asgard. So, Odin tested Loki, expecting him to climb by himself all the way up Primter's wall. So, what did Loki- ah! So what did Loki do? He kept climbing. He just kept climbing. His arms hurt. His fingers went numb. It got hard to breathe. Loki kept climbing. One foothold at a time. All the way to the top. Hello. Uh, hi. So, what part of the enormous wall made you think, oh, Visitors must be welcome. I was sent for, actually. By Odin? The Allfather sent for you. <laughs> Great. Mm. Then why are you out there? And not in here? Why don't we ask them together? Hmm. Are you finished? Now, what could Odin, Allfather, King of the Aesir, possibly want with the likes of you? That's between me and Odin. You don't even know, do you? <laughs> Think you could pull me up, or... No, I don't think I will. I think maybe I'll drop you. No, 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 no. Yes, I'm Stop. going to drop you. Goodbye. Stop. Where are you? Think how mad the Allfather's gonna be when, when he finds out you killed his guest. Loki of the Jotnar? <laughs> the Jotnar. Enemy of my people. I am not your enemy. Uh, 
I will be the judge of that. <laughs> this way, Loki of the Jotnar. Wait, is that Gjallarhorn? Are you Heimdall? Uh, now feel free to drink in the splendor of Asgard. This is a rare sight for outsiders. Especially giants. Yes. Why not steal anything that is not nailed down? That is sure to impress your hosts. Oh. Done drinking it in already. Cornerstone of civilization in the Nine Realms. Not really your cup of tea. I see. Oh, uh... No. <sighs> Just ask your questions already. How'd you know I had questions? It is my job. Next question. What is your job? I protect the realm I love from trouble. And you think I'm trouble? You just met me. And I can already see you are eager to prove yourself. Way too eager. Probably due to an overshadowing father figure you can never live up to. Good guess. I would also guess that you are... disrespectful. Entitled and... impulsive. You don't know me at all. I help people. Oh! You are here to help people. Hmm. No. No. You are here to help yourself. To manipulate and lie to whoever you have to to get what you want. I know you're young. Your voice probably dropped while you were climbing the wall, but... <laughs> what a twisted little soul you have. <laughs> you are chaos in a spiffy archer suit. I watch your mouth move, and I see cities burning. Nothing good is going to come from you being in Asgard. That said, if you are here to aid the Allfather and have no treacherous intent, I guess that makes us allies. Gultorper. Who loves me the most? Who loves me the most? Wow, that's almost as impressive as Balder taming a dragon. Balder had the luxury of not caring how badly he got burned. I outthink them. Dominate them fair and square. Whoa, are these all Aesir gods? What? You think all Aesir are gods? But Skilder told me that oh, only... Oh, well, if Skilder told you... Clearly, whoever that is must be the authority on Aesir gods, not the Aesir god you are currently talking to. You literally know nothing of our culture, do you? I know lots of things. I know a giant built that wall. A giant built the wall that keeps out the giants. Framther, son of Thalmor. I know the whole story. Really? I truly cannot wait for you to regale me with the revisionist tales of Asgard's architectural history. Is that Odin's palace? Palace? Do you think the Allfather needs to puff himself up like some mortal chieftain? I guess not. That is the Great Lodge, which the Allfather built with his own hands. I'm sorry if that is a letdown for you. Real power, you see, does not need to flaunt. It emerges when the time is right. Don't you agree? Ah! Hey! Whoa! Ah! Hey! Helmets! I brought you a practice down. I thought we were going to own it! You see, the thing is, you do lose it. So I am not letting you anywhere near the Alpha. That's right. Show me all of your stupid little tricks. Ah! Good job! That's what you want Oh, very nice. Who's the pack? It is a one that the Yotnar lost every war they ever fought. Well, that was boring. Guess who's next? You sure you want to keep all father waiting? Funny thing. 
I am sure about that. Yes, I'm feeling very sure, matter of fact. Oh no! Arrows! How fearsome! Whoa! Oh, how is he doing? Oh, not even close! You're not gonna stop me from seeing Odin! You'll be seeing him from your grave. What? That doesn't even make sense! Uh-oh. Even that didn't work? I am really screwed now. Oh, is that it? Is this all you have to show me, Jotun? Sure! Completely ineffective, so keep doing it! Wow. I do have to say, Loki, I am profoundly unimpressed. You should probably stay down. Great. <laughs> Knock it off. Like it or not, he's all father's guest. But I thought I smelled something. Take one more step, you're not gonna like how this ends. Really? And how do you intend to stop me? Look into my eyes. You tell me. You are a sick man. Loki! You made it! I am so honored. I, I see you've met Heimdall. He reads minds for me. The boy is false, all father. This young man, who is my guest, is covered in mud. Care to explain? He means to betray you. <gasps> is that true, Loki? You a little trickster? Uh, I'm just messing around. Of course he means to betray me, huh? Heimdall, why else would he come? I've given him no reason to trust me. Not yet. But he's got some very big questions. And I have so many answers to give. What are you up to? Dismissed. Go. Gladly. And you, clean yourself up. Oh, my... Heimdall, will you just relax? Were you intending on killing me first thing? See? What, that's not good enough for you? Get out of here! <laughs> He's a lot, I know. Very perceptive, but sometimes he just forgets to think. You know? Hey, I got some places to be. So how'd your father take the news that you decided to accept my invitation? I don't think we should talk about my father. Not well, huh? <laughs> Can't blame him. Between my ex-wife and my disgruntled former employee, He's not exactly getting an unbiased view, but you, you're curious, open-minded. That's important. Priest, meest, carry on, pretend I'm not here. If I'm being honest with you, Loki, you're lucky my offer still stands after you went and sprung tear. But I suppose spending time with him is punishment enough, isn't it? <laughs> At least Mimir never lost his sense of humor. But look, it, that's all behind us now. I like to keep looking forward. Hey, hey, hey! I want them trained, not decapitated. Just keep it below the neck, all right? Is that really what you do when I'm not here? All father. Queen Gana. The Ain Huryar are ready for your blessings. That's why I'm here, isn't it? Huh. Guess there's a new Valkyrie queen. Great soldiers, these Ain Huryar. But they tend to come out of Valhalla a little foggy. I do what I can for them, help them 
remember who they were in life. That's important, don't you think? A sense of identity gives things meaning. Moon the nothing, Rothgar. Moon the nothing, Warm. Moon the nothing, Yana. Okay, next up. Ah, the books. Good. Those are for him. I understand you're an avid reader. These are just a few things from my personal collection. Uh, thanks. Jürgen, those better not be mushrooms, I smell. Listen, I appreciate your offer, but I'm really not sure what you're expecting from me. Right now, you're just visiting, Loki. One step at a time. Steady there, Carl. But with all respect, you need to know. I came to study, not to serve. Another servant is the last thing I need. I need someone with drive, with curiosity. Someone will take initiative. That looks good. Is that braised? But why me? Is it because I'm half giant? Big deal. So's Thor. Erlen, try to stay away for me. OK, but... Look, don't overthink it. I have a project I think you'll be interested in. A major learning opportunity for both of us. What about my family, my friends? I need to know nobody's going to get hurt. Why would I hurt anybody? A truce is all I've been asking for from the start, if you recall. Look, you're here now. Stop worrying. It's all going to be fine. Almost to your room. My room? Yep, just over here. Feel free to come and go. Take what you need, poke around as you please. You're not my prisoner. And more importantly, I'm not your father. All father, there's a situation that needs your attention. Sif, you missed welcoming our new house guest. Say hello to Loki. This is him? Here, in our home. How nice. My diplomat. Everything all right in New Midgard? The refugees are fine. The situation is with the dwarves. You know who is back. Yeah, it's always something. Put those books down. We got another stop to make. Uh, sure. <laughs> all right, I'm here. Where is he? He? Oh, he, uh, just over there, All Father. Sir? <gasps> uh. Chief, it's been too long. What's the issue now? No issue at all if you're trying to build volatile death traps. I approve these designs personally, and not all that recently, I might add. Did you just wake up with the urge to be a pain in my ass? Yeah. Who's the cut? You're training puck pockets. You know what, Durlin? You reek of cheap mead, and that is by far your most endearing 